Seems good. Let's continue with MechWarrior 5. Wherein we have this overpowered dragon with way too much armor. Uh, e Old Centurion, a Jaeger mech, and a BJ in the mech bay right now. Um, what's going on with this lot? I... Hmm. It's been a while since I played this save, so... I'm guessing we're repairing this? Otherwise I would have sold it in that condition. This be a Warhammer. Fantastic. I think that's our first Warhammer. And we have a Phoenix. Um... Maybe we should... Well, what kind of tonnage, tonnage are we at? 45. It's got... 3 energy, 3 DACA slots, and no missiles. Jumps to 86 meters. Runs pretty damn fast for a 45 ton mech. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this would have been a really good mech to have sooner, but now it's kind of questionable. Hmm. Well, in any case, where are we right now? We are in an industrial hub with plenty of money and a lot of mech repairs ahead of us. Let's see if we can just click repair all on this guy. We cannot. I could give him a tier 2 large laser, but the arms are always the first things to fall off. Um, so I don't really want to put our precious tier 2 laser on that arm at this point. Maybe I could buy one. Let's see what we got. Uh, tier 0 large laser. Binary laser? When I first looked at it, I thought, that's actually pretty cool. It's like a laser, it's like a large laser and a half in a 9 ton package. But I've never actually had occasion to put it in. Because I'd have to shave off four tons somewhere else to make this happen. Uh, and we've got two slots for energy weapons here anyway, so why not just put in like two large lasers? Maybe if you had to put it in the center torso or something. Uh, but yeah, what's this guy? Double SRM. Double medium laser and a large. Could we maybe... What if we just give him more medium lasers and more heat sinks? Maximum heat on this thing is 5.4 per second and we've only got 1.6 per second cooling. So... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of medium lasers that I can put on this guy right now. There are a couple of tier tiers. Oh, that was buying. Whoops. It's it's fine. It's not a tragedy to spend like two cents and have some more medium lasers. Um, especially when the mod allows us to smash lower tier weapons together to make higher tier ones. Um, we've currently got four tier ones lying around. I'd like to take a look at the other mechs we need to repair before I make a decision on that one. This guy just needs armor. It's fine by me. We could maybe upgrade a medium laser or two, but... We've only got one higher tier one at the moment. That can probably stay as it is for now. And what sort of Jaeger mech do we have? Four auto cannon twos. Couple of mid lasers. Um, and for some reason, we have a mix of auto cannon 2 and auto cannon 2 burst fires. Probably that's probably because that's just what we had there before. Uh, and I didn't want to pay the cost of replacing them. How much would it cost to put in a bunch of tier 2s, and how much better would they be? They would barely be better. Of course. 
But if we're already tearing this out and repairing that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do it. It's probably not even that expensive. Let's see. Uh, install. It's like 50k. Jesus. It costs almost as much to uninstall or install, not both, one of these parts, as it costs to jump. The shortest jump we can do. Hmm. Um, but we're at, we're at like 6 million now. I think that's well worth. I could move these heat sinks around and make them less likely to explode, but we've got plenty. I'll do for now. The OP dragon just needs a little bit of armor touch up, of course. Fantastic. And the old centurion didn't quite lose any components. Just click repair all, and we're good. Fantastic. This one's much better for range. I'm thinking maybe we could just put more medium lasers on this Centurion and make it more of a short to mid-range laser boat. We can probably afford to make one more tier 2 medium laser right now. Where is it? Oh, we could also upgrade a large. There we go. So now we have four mediums, two SRM6s, and that's it. Nice and simple. Max range, if we just want to tickle them, is 567. That's not that bad, especially since it's going to have some longer range fire support. Oh, and we're going to make up the difference in tonnage with more cooling. Seems good to me. So now we can't exactly constantly fire every weapon, but with double SRM6 and four mediums at this point in the game, we're not going to need to. And I was... I think we probably just wanted the Phoenix to steal the engine core. And we could salvage some jump jets as well while we're at it. It's only 1k to remove them. So, why not? That's a bargain. And apparently removing the machine gun ammo is free. Seems good. Start work on that, and we'll sell it when it's done. Hello, hello, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got mechs for sale. Um, none of which we own. Javelin is the least exciting here by far. Griffin, we didn't we just sell something like that? No, this is bigger. Uh, also jumps about 76 meters. Runs pretty fast for something this big. I don't love that the only weapon it has is PPC and LRM-10. Uh, if we, if the AI was more intelligent, we could, or, or if it was like co-op or something, uh, we could have this thing get to the high ground, move around, harass and snipe. But most of our mechs need to just be good brawlers. Uh, also I can't actually afford it right now, so that makes the decision easier. The Wolverine is... I wish it would show the maximum armor of these things when they're damaged. 181 plus 115, that's like just over 300. This is significantly more armored. Small, me two mediums, small, large, laser, SRM6, that's a lot more versatile. More DPS, more armor. And the same movement speed, it just doesn't jump. 
at the same tonnage, that's a lot better, but we're obviously not buying it anyway. Uh, before we move on, let's buy whatever we need to stock up on. I think six improved sensors is more than enough, especially considering... Oh, that's actually quite cheap, though. Uh, especially considering how rarely we lose these things, but hell, I don't think we're ever going to see them that cheap again, so let's grab them. Heat sink. Ammo, make sure we have at least four of any type of ammo that we see. Even though I'll probably never use the thumpers. I tried using the sniper cannon, or rather I did use the sniper cannon in another save. It, it's not bad or anything, but it's not everything I hoped for, I suppose. LRM 20 streak tier... Two. Uh, I can't really afford that right now. And I don't like to bother with LRMs that are not streak. For long range missiles, I don't want a shotgun. I want a bit more precision, if possible. Um, I don't want to spend 80k on a tier 0 large laser, I don't think. Tier 5 Auto Cannon 5. For about a quarter of all the money we have left. Um, probably not. We'll end up losing it anyway. It's on the arm slot for the Centurion. So let's just pretend we didn't see that. Alright, we are at Reputation 7. We've got max tonnage of around, what, 220-ish, 230? And I think this is our, oh, I'm loving this mod already. Max tons, 360, Independence versus Davian for both of those missions. Don't even have to click this. And it gives more information. Well, some of the more relevant information. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's our campaign mission. Oh, that's Preacher. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing any of these. Um, I tried them, a, a couple of these missions, and they were bugged. So, so I'm not going to bother with any of the Gather the Elite, mis uh, gather the elite missions, unfortunately. Higher pilots, perhaps? What do we got? from Command and Conquer. Uh, max skill 28. Not very exciting right now. What roster do we have? This guy's 44. Leon is 55. 54. Yeah, we've already got a few okay ones. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pilots. That's not as many spares as I would like. I should probably keep an eye out for some more. And let's do, as it says, and increase our reputation, I guess. High reward quest, perhaps? What is that? Rashpur Owens Incorporated. I've never seen that before. Subsidy of House Leal. Okay. I think that's in one of the mods I just added, probably. The only mods I added today were the mouse over from the star map, uh, and one that introduces clan tech. And I think it's 3055, so that's not happening for quite a while. Um, but let's see what we have. No multiple mission. Oh, here's one. I wish it would tell you how many missions it is, because that's kind of important. Um, so every single one of these missions are going to piss off someone who we've gained rep with already. So is this. It's pretty hard not... It's pretty hard to find missions that won't upset someone depending on how many factions you want to keep. If not on good terms, then not super negative. 
Hmm. So is there actually nowhere in this war zone where I could just keep bullying someone who already hates us? I guess so. Well, maybe it's time to balance the scales a little bit. This one's only one hop from a repair area. Oh, it's also super cheap still to repair in system. I like defense contracts. Um, why don't we just do all of these? Let's start with this one. And what do we got? Industrial espionage. Despite our trailblazing innovation to keep our ancient factory online, we run out on razor-thin margins. Allow our drop allow their dropships to be illegally sold at bargain basement prices, which undercuts our profits. Oh yeah. So enforcing monopoly. Kind of. Maybe not. Let's do this one. Training day. Bunch of greenhorns are going to get attacked. Let's see if we can make them survive at least one mission. Now then. We've got a maximum of 12. Uh, what is this called? Defense. Let's call it that. 12 defense and 10 evasion on this character. Definitely put you in the tanky one. Apparently the Jägermech isn't ready yet. Not for three days. What do we got instead? You're also not ready. Oh, we've got the Warhammer. Or the Pew Hammer, as they called it. <laughs> Give me that Pew Hammer. I don't think I've got a pilot who has touched it yet. Uh, Come actually... Go, no, I don't. You're impaired for 46 days anyway. Uh, I guess we'll put a little a literal Tyrannosaurus in here. What do we have? One, two, three, four medium lasers. Two large, two machine guns. LRM5. I think that's everything. I wish the scroll wasn't like this. Yeah, that's a nice spread of weapons. And then we've got 20 tons left. We could go with the Locust. Who's the locust expert that we have? Uh, Captain Dobbs. And Dawson, who's impaired. Okay. Decent defense and evasion. This is ghost. Sure, why not? And if we slap in a centurion as well. Does it matter which variant of the centurion? AC-5-2 mediums, LRM-10, that should be fine. And we're at exactly 200 tons. Let's go. Let us go. Lock and load, Commander. Enemy it's kind of dark. Maybe I should pilot the uh, locust. Give it a try. All right, everyone else stay here, and I'm gonna try and be a good locust pilot and harass. Takes a lot more attention just to move around. Aye, aye. I'm on guard. 
Uh oh. Let me three. facing me, that's not what I want. Maybe I'm being too impatient. He's still chasing me. Phew. I wish I had jump jets in this thing. Too far for machine guns. Nope, not this way, not this way. Affirmative. Nope. Maybe I should. Do I even have the option to slap some. Fuel supply has been destroyed, but it says our health is 100%. Okay, there it goes, 99. Why are my AIs, like, spread all over the place when I've given them a focus fire order? Oh, that's not where I should be right running. I could have taken 12 missiles to the face there. That's definitely a priority target. Let me out. I should go bully that, uh, that urban mech a bit more. Actually, back armor. And I'm gone. Yes, indeed. Bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get ready for some company. Where'd that urban mech go? I think it got wrecked. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Coach reporting. Target eliminated. Fantastic. Wait here. What is that shooting at? What even is that up there? Oh, there it is, LRM-10 tank. But it seems to be doing a poor job of aiming at the walls or something. me from here actually. Try and hide behind it versus the other tank. It's got nothing but long range missiles on it, it actually can't fire from here. Don't run into the flames. Damn it, they took out the command center. Oh no. Oh that's one of those giant helicopters. My AI Teammates aren't doing a whole lot. Even though they do have some long range weapons. Oops. Hey guys, watch this shot. 
How many enemies we got left? Oh, that's it. That's the mission. Easy. Where is it? Look at how fast that dragon is. Nice. The violent... When you're trying to circle something, if you change direction, the violence of how quickly it... Uh, the legs turn is quite difficult to get used to. Ooh, engine core is... We can't salvage this, though. Rip. Um, so we're not getting any engine cores today. We might just take one of these to sell. I'll definitely take some medium lasers. Uh, another AC2. Why not? And that's pretty much everything we can salvage here. 2.46 mil for 9 points. Don't see why not. And we'll take the LRM-10. Cool, cool, cool. And I think there's nothing else left in this system now. We can probably get everything repaired within 13 days. 15 days? Really? Fine. And we can sell this guy, sell this guy, and we're good to go. Maybe we'll take some of the other mechs in, instead of waiting for the Warhammer. What do we got? Everything is a defense mission. Um, they've all got the same difficulty. This one's slightly higher. Maybe we should do that first. Because I, if I can, I want to do these missions back to back. And we should take the most uh, threatening one first. In that case. Alternatively, I could wait till the Warhammer is repaired while we do another mission. Well, I don't think I can back out of the mission now. Um, and we still have 30 tons that we can spare. So let's take maybe another Centurion? I would like to take the Jaeger mech. But I would have to drop 15 tons somewhere. Well, if we're not taking the Warhammer, who is good at the Jaeger mech? Uh, Dawson. And only this. Dawson. Any easier and we'd be moving hay on some farm. Still bruised. You, you need a lot of therapy. Decreased evasiveness by five. Holy crap. Uh, can we protect the Jagermack well enough to let it snipe everything? Six ballistics at this point is pretty good, honestly. Five laser. It does have quite a bit of armor. I should have... I always forget to check these things. 
I probably should have uh, paid to remove at least the Walking Bullseye debuff. You have zero room for positive traits and four negative ones? Bruh. Bruv, no. Maybe I should just take a different pilot, even though no one else is experienced with that mech. Someone with plenty of DACA, plenty of laser. Who isn't already taken. I need more pilots. Um... I guess we could level Shea up a bit. Or I could put it on my own character. That actually makes a lot of sense. And then we have 55 tons left. So we'll prob probably take a Centurion. I don't think we've got a 55 ton mech lying around. Alternatively, we could take a Blackjack for even more Auto Cannon 2 spam. Those helicopters are going to just drop out of the sky. Uh, but no, I think... Oh, we've got the short-range Centurion. With four medium lasers. Two SRM-6s. How much long-range have we got? AC-5, LRM-10, four AC-2s. And that's pretty much it. The dragon is already a short range beast. I think we'll go the more conventional centurion. And slap Dobbs into it as well. Cool, cool, cool. Seems good. Probably want to park the Jaegermech somewhere with a lot of line of sight. Like on this little hill up here. Which mech do I want to pilot? Probably the dragon. Probably the dragon. Yes. Alright. Jaegermech is F2. Go over there please. And... Oh, hello. Probably put one of the Centurions here. And the other one can probably follow. should have done earlier. Laser machine gun, SRM-6. Alright, um, lately I've been using two for lasers. Left click for machine gun, SRM-6, and that's pretty much everything. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god, the tanks are too tanky. There we go. There we go. Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. Target destroyed. I think I have different tiers of medium lasers on this thing, so they don't have the same refresh. Or range, or damage, or heat cost. Uh, 
Uh, someone's gonna deal with that mech, right? It's a spider. Don't have to worry too much. Oh, I should have punched it. I would have had to wind up a bit early, though. There we go. Is the Jägermack not shooting down that way? What's it doing? Our mechs are not really damaged. Well, the Jaeger is doing something. Let's hurry up and shoot that leg off. There we go. That squishy center torso out of here. Right, yeah, you can take any real damage. Should have run straight at it. Didn't think it would still be alive by now. There we go. She's actually shooting a lot of stuff. As it turns out. Now we gotta give her some cover. Shoot the big obvious target. And get rid of the biggest weapon. There we go. Oh my god, pop already. There you go. damage. Let's see if we can do another one without waiting for repairs. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, what do we have? We could take anything. We've got 27 salvage points. This thing is pretty much completely intact, except for its legs. That's some good salvage. Uh, we also have a spider. whoop de doo I mean, the cicada's whoop de doo as well, but uh, it's got a 320 engine core. That's actually... Something we might want to slap into something bigger later on. So we'll probably take that. 
Um, don't care about any of this. Do we really need to build another Centurion at this point? Maybe. We've got 10 tons worth of Centurion. 20, 30, 40. We'd, we'd be able to get it up to 45. So we'd have to find another one of these. Which is not unlikely. Centurions are very common. Yeah, you know what? I'll probably take a few of these with the change that I have left after I pick whatever else I actually want. Uh, definitely the tier 2 auto cannon 2s. Very nice indeed. And I think we will take three 15 tons worth of Centurion salvage. So next time we get a Centurion blown to bits, we should be able to turn it into a new mech. Alright, two contracts left in this place. Both Liao versus Independence. I hope the Independence will still like us somewhat after this. Um, doesn't really matter which one we do first. Unless we end up only doing one of them. So I'll do the one that takes 20 days and is in a cold place. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your visibility and we actually only have 200 tons for this. Actually, give me a more detailed view of just how much damage these guys took. Jägermech, a little bit. Everything else is pretty negligible. Uh, and I think... We barely pay extra in this place. Um, so I think we'll just... Strip this guy while we're here. That'll take the time it takes to do one hop. Fantastic. Alright, if we swap out the Jägermech, we've got 25 tons remaining. We could go for the Locust again, uh, which is actually not even damaged. I should probably take pilots that are not resting, if possible. So we got a perfectly healthy Locust, a perfectly healthy Warhammer, a couple of Blackjacks, and a Centurion. That would put us 15 below. How about a Firestarter? Oh, perfect. That's actually perfect. Alright, what about Pilots? One, two... We've only got two healthy ones, so we're going to have to take a couple of them that are resting. Um, who do I want to get good at the Warhammer? Probably Leon. We got this. No prisoners, no mercy. And the Blackjack. Uh, probably this guy, Shea. And then we've got nothing but lasers and missiles on this. Maybe Dubs. Who's good at the fire starter? Dubs is slightly less bad at it. That one's got Dacker as well. Which she's terrible at. Let's give right, the Centurion to her. And I guess. I should probably use Leon for the more mobile mech. He's got by far the highest evasion. Oh, never mind. Winter. Yeah, looking good. Get in there. Good. 
Alright, this will do, even though we only took one healthy one. Outer perimeter alarm has just sounded. Hostile forces incoming. We have a few friendlies here on rotation, but they will need our assistance. But they have zero armor. Incoming hostile forces. Move out. And I only see one friendly, actually. The fire starter with no armor on the front. And slightly damaged structure. It's gonna it's gonna fold like a wet paper bag. That's not how folding works. If we can make it survive this first wave of helicopters, I'll be surprised. I think we will pretty much just hang around here. This has got really good sight lines and control of sight lines. Should probably face the mech. Oh, it's a Jenna. And too close for El around. Oh my my groupings are terrible. Here we go. Bad news, Commander. More hostiles Much better. On your position. And Get just to make it easier to use the machine gun, that as well. I kinda wish you could set it up so that with the machine gun you just toggle it on and off, because usually if I want to use it, I want to use it continuously for a little while. While everything else I can just sort of tap. And with all those different weapon groups. They've blown the fuel tank. I already sent the uh, sent the lance to attack this. It actually kept the lock on. Oh, now it leaves it? Really? Oh, come on. Stay locked on already. Now it's too close. And you're done. Okay, got his head. It seems like the, uh, when you give your lancemates orders to attack something, if you lose the signal, they just sort of give up and come back to you, and it's not very helpful. This is just for you. I think that means it's about to die. I kind of broke one of the buildings we're supposed to be defending just just a wee bit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Why in the name of... Why did I lose that target lock? It was coming closer with a clear line of sight. Ravna. thing is so much slower to turn around and stuff. Also twist. It'll, it doesn't help I've got a penalty for the not having pilot skill for this map. But, whoops. Makes it a bit harder to track those helicopters. I don't know how we're locking onto it here and now. 
There's also some mechs coming up from the left. I think they're confused. I'm on it. Oh, that's not what I meant to tell him. And... Do you still see it? Do we not share sensor information? There we go. I didn't think I'd get a chance to shoot it. It's too far for the lasers, actually. And and, and the LRMs are okay. I don't mind that we don't just magically have a lock on through things through mountains. Uh, but I think they made the the LRM locks way too skittish with that mod. Alright, she's not having a trouble. She's not having trouble. And what have we here? I'm Minus one enemy. That is a commando, I believe. There we go. Don't, didn't I put improved sensors in this thing? Why do I keep not having target lock when I have a clear line of sight? Oh, I hear a helicopter. Get that arm. Oh, the turn rate is so bad. There we go. There we go. That may have been overkill. Two more enemies. I want to do a war zone uh, war zone next. Oh, it's tearing up the base. I wish you could send orders via the map or something, because I can't really see where I would want to tell them all to move right now. Yeah, my bad. Putting six small lasers on the fire star was shockingly effective. It's actually got just as much DPS as mediums if it's in optimal range. Nice headshot, thank you. Vinmas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we have a short range missile launcher remaining. Let's see if we can get it at long range and hide our mechs from running straight into it with no... Oh, that's the ally. It didn't die. Nice. Okay, everyone park yourselves over here. And I think this thing's just going to roll straight towards us. Straight towards the base, anyway. I want to engage it at a range where SRMs arbitrarily explode, uh, arbitrarily just disappear. Sixty short-range missiles would be absolutely terrifying if the AI wasn't completely brainless. Okay. Let's see if we've got enough uh, relatively undamaged mechs left for one more mission before we hop. It's kind of like a self-imposed multiple mission operation, except we could leave 
any time if it doesn't work out. We got no engine core salvage. Can't win them all. Not that I was trying. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything I like here. I guess we'll just try and get the most for our money. 2.7 mil for 11 share cost. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. Wait, no. 2.4 for 8. Is that about the same ratio? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll grab some more heat sinks. Even though they're not worth that much money, um, I like to have way more spare than I could ever need. Because they're very easy to lose if things go badly. Um, what should I take from here? AC2, I guess. We only took 48 grand of damage. And we have one left. We might just still have the independence not quite being less than friendly to us after this. Alright. Sell the Cicada. Sell the Jenna. Unless we want to strip it for a couple of medium lasers. What would this cost? 60 grand for three tier one mediums. That's... Yeah, that's probably a bargain, right? And we may as well take the spare jump jets and ammo while we're at it. Cool. So we got one, two... This Centurion lost literally one point... It somehow lost a decimal of armor. 1.18 armor. So this one's basically perfectly repaired. Um, the dragon barely got a scratch and it's got a ton of armor anyway. Warhammer barely got a scratch. And we've got a spare blackjack. Uh, yeah, I think we can definitely do one more mission here. Last defense mission for a while if I can help it. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Alright. Dragon. And... Who have we got who's not resting? One, two, three... That's it. Okay. Um... Probably take the Jagermech with a little bit better DPS, even though it's slightly, slightly damaged already. And one of the Centurions that took basically no damage. We'd be 25 tons over. Uh, this guy's 35, right? Hmm, should we take the Locust as well? worked before. This is ghost. Who is good in the blackjack? Well, no one's good, but we have a few people a little bit experienced with it. Time to get nasty. And yeah, I think this will do. It's actually nice playing with light mechs again. I just finished the campaign mission in, uh, like, the end of the campaign in another save. But they will need our assistance defending this station from incoming hostile forces. You kind of end up having to go, like, nearly 400 tons, or 340-ish, at least, for pretty much every mission. So it's a nice change of pace to have room 
the small mechs to be good. I hear helicopters. Blown the fuel tank. I don't think I'm in range yet. Aye, aye. I'm on guard. Well, shooting down helicopters is not my job as a as a locust. What's this guy? Nothing but an SRM4 and he's gonna die when someone looks at him. That's not gonna be very helpful. Still try and keep him alive if only... I wouldn't say to soak damage, but to soak some attention from the enemies for a minute. Go get all those little light units before they get in range. There's some kind of tank around here somewhere. Oh, SRMs. I'm not a fan of that. Don't look at me. Nope. Okay, this guy is my job. Get him in the back. Oh, that's a lot of heat. But dipping my toes in that molten rock or whatever it was. Oh, he's he's super dead already. Go focus this tank instead. Someone's shooting auto cannons at me. It's you, isn't it? Reaching. Quick draw and Griffin. Let's go hit him in the back. You didn't need any armor on your back, did you? Quite a lot, apparently. Still so armored. Oh crap, don't look at me. I never felt the need for analog control for uh, for the legs in Battletech uh, in a MechWarrior game before, but if you were gonna play the Locust. To its full potential. Yeah, that's kind of what you need to aim accurately while you circle something. That's a lot of tanks. That's a big tank. Where am I? Where am I, Max? Oh crap! Hostiles are focusing on the facilities. 
E a noite querem. Well, the except for that side torso damage on the warhammer, it's looking pretty good for our squad mates. Probably should have waited another second or two before opening fire there. How did I just slow down? That was potentially very bad. Uh oh, I think I should be leaving until. There we go. Until my lance shows up. Phoenix already. Don't even have the range yet. Uh oh. The mission's almost finished, right? I definitely want another variant of the Locust. I've seen one with a lot more laser on it. I saw a very overpowered one with like, I think it was three medium pulse lasers, but I don't think I'm going to be getting that anytime soon. Cool, cool, cool. Now, do we go to an industrial hub or straight to the next lot? This one has a core. This one has a core. Can't afford this one. What was this? 270. We can get a 275 instead. I don't see anything precious over here that we want. Some more autocannon 2s tier 1 would be nice, but we've already got like 5. It's fine. Plus 6 versus negative 8. Makes it kind of hard to make everyone like you, doesn't it? Alright. No more missions over here? Unless we want to take the high reward quest, which is a bit sketchy. When do we get a reputation boost? We're halfway there. Difficulty wasn't too bad. Uh, we have a lot of repairs to do, but they're all kind of cheap. Well, let's look at the time involved. Two days, six days, four days, ten. Uh, looks like... Yeah, we can literally repair everything in the space of one hop. I'm thinking we could probably do a multiple mission operation or two. Well, not two in one, uh, in one trip. That might be bad. Alright, let's head over to Capricorn, uh, right after we view this thing up to be salvaged.
13 days, perfect. And tap a repair all. Ooh, I just need five more pieces for another Warhammer. Two pieces would give me a Jenna, and four for another Centurion. A trebuchet is a nice poor man's catapult. It wouldn't be the worst mech to get. Alright. Which mission should we take? Let's browse the black market first. Mm, that's all crap. That's crap. That's crap. And we could get some engine cores, probably at bad prices. Uh, I don't think we're just buying engine cores at this point. Or maybe ever. Maybe we just try to salvage them all. I'll definitely take heat sinks any day of the week. I've never had problems with running out of jump jets. Um... Even though I don't use AC-20s often, I do want every type of ammo to be at least four. And... Uh, we could buy a messed up cicada or spider. That's not going to happen. What about the barracks? Seven for all weapon skills, but, like, nothing for defense? No, thank you. Oh, okay, that looks very good. The art is weird. Very narrow, very cartoonish. Um, seven evasion, eight laser, nine rocket, up to 14 DACA, 15 defense. Uh, yes? I know your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. Yes, please. Already three out of four positive quirks. Only a maximum of two negatives. That's really good. Alright. Captain Fleming, welcome aboard. Has us to meet. And then we've to got board, good sir. defense, but mediocre damage. Spence. I don't think we're interested in any of these. Alright. Um, let's sell this. And let's sell this. And let's pick a multiple mission operation. We've got... Maybe I should take the House Merrick mission before... It's going to drop the independence down to just barely better than neutral. Defense and raid. Defense and defense. <laughs> didn't we just do three defenses back to back? It didn't cost us a whole lot, though. Um, in terms of... Like, we didn't, didn't take much damage. And this should be about the same. Sure. You know what? I kind of want to do something... I, I, I want to do one different mission. Let's start with the... The different multiple mission operation first. I'll do a defense and then a raid.
nothing like dropping into an op. Fully loaded and ready to rock. And then realized that I was muted. Perfect. Okay. Let's go with this. And I think for the raid, I want to try using a really fast mech to just plow in there. Lock and load, Commander. Enemy forces have just tripped the outer perimeter. Why are we spawned in the middle of this thing where we're going to have to crush something to, re to leave? to the ground. Do not let that happen. Nothing How did we even get moment, here? But don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. They're probably going to break something as they come through. <laughs> Sounds like it. All right. Park right yourselves ahead. over here, please. Target acquired. That was too far away. Enemy Oops. vehicle spotted. Flyer in the air. Additional bog is setting an interceptor in your position. Target acquired. Aye aye, I'm on guard. New target, Locus. Right about here seems good for most of it. Repositioning complete. Target destroyed. Alright, give me the fire starter. Commander. Now, everyone park Will yourselves it, here for the moment. Oh, crap. Weapon groups again. Why would it... I don't know how the defaults work, but they're very bad. Uh, let's just put the lasers on two and the machine gun on one again. Seems good to me. Also, we can punch things. That gives us a lot more opportunity to be aggressive. We get behind a tank or something. Oh, it's a flea! I didn't see any of these until, like, the end of the campaign. Uh, last time. And I didn't add any mods that should add a flea. Recon has spotted additional bogies. Heading along it's a trajectory not... that intersects with your position. It leaves a lot to be desired in terms of speed, but we also have jump jets. We can use those to go faster. And punch. Fantastic. This thing is well built to hunt light enemies. What's this? Cicada. Fantastic. Oh crap. Oh, that's the stuff I'm supposed to be defending. Oh no. Yes. Yes. What's this? Panther, don't look at me. I'll jump over this wall and attack whatever this is instead. Okay, that's not where I want to be, actually. Oh, crap. Oh, that's... I'm glad this guy's got S lasers instead of SRMs. Ow. Pointing machine guns at me, it's very rude. Yeagamek, stay here please. Should probably focus the smaller one myself. Those punches are a lot faster than the heavy mech punches I'm used to. Whoops, whoops, my bad. Get 
rid of that PPC. Enemy mech forces spotted operating in the area. Watch out for them. There we go. Take off his other arm and then I can punch him without the possibility of a reprisal. Why are there hidden objects to salvage in the middle of a base I'm supposed to be defending? Take damage from landing from the jump jets. It's pretty negligible. You can soften it to zero. Oh no. How's our Jägermech doing? Holy crap, that's bad. I meant to reposition my other lance mates so they'd protect him. Everyone come on me. Behind you, Commander. This is my fault. Can't put that one on the AI. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. I think that Panther's by far the bigger threat. Jump Even though it's derping around. Oh, I was about to anticipate that PPC and try and dodge it. What did I lose? Small laser? Well done, Commander. The area is what, secure. What did I lose? How did I lose a laser? I've got armor everywhere. If I just left the Warhammer next to the uh, Jägermech, wouldn't have taken damage like that. Alright, what do we got? Engine core 270. It's the Phoenix again. For some reason we keep salvaging those without even trying. With the engines intact. Wait, how did it even... Oh, we destroyed all the weapons. Including the arms. Fair enough. Actually, it looks like all of the weapons were on the arms, which is a terrible idea. Okay. Definitely want to keep an eye out for a variant of Locust that isn't... Uh, that has more pew pew. Blee has double medium, double small, and a flamer, and two machine guns, but it's got like... It's got... 90 something armor. In total. That's pretty bad. Also, it got cored without losing anything else. Alright, I think we'll take the Phoenix Hawk as salvage. 
and some AC5s. And the rest is kind of garbage, to be honest. Let's just take this cicada for selling. And one more mission. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Lost two of our AC2s. That could have been worse. Just lost one arm. Alright, what are we putting in instead? And how armored are these guys? The dragon didn't really take any damage. Um, more than a scratch on... Oh yeah, I was wondering how the hell we lost that small laser. It's in the center torso. But there's still armor. That's weird. I'm no Battletech expert, but I don't remember any armor-piercing weapons, and there certainly doesn't seem to be anything that special showing up yet. Um... Yeah, I don't think we want to run this thing into combat. We could fix it up before we do another hop. Or even sooner, depending on how long these missions take. Uh, let's tear out the engine, and the jump jets, for the Phoenix Hawk, and we'll sell it later. And I'm not going to take the time to take out a couple of tier 0 medium lasers, we'll just sell the Cicada. And then... Let's see what we're going to take. Definitely the dragon. Uh, and I think the warhammer is probably still a good idea. Probably. We're not taking the fire starter. Uh, maybe a couple of blackjacks? That's two tw Excuse me, 220 out of 230. That's not bad. Uh, we could take a couple of Centurions instead. They haven't even been scratched yet. Let's take one with some decent range. And... Probably both of the ones with decent range. If we're doing... Wait, what type of mission is this? That's not defense. Um... It's a raid, right? That's right, I was thinking of running some of the lighter mechs in to do the raid mission fast. Do we have a locust ready? In that case... Can we squeeze in any extra tonnage? The answer appears to be no. Okay. Do we have a locust pilot who's not, like, resting? Not really? Uh, yeah, we... Mm, no. No, those are some horrible stats for the locust. Glass cannon locust, let's go. Um, how about instead... Uh, it's actually a tough choice. We're not taking the bruised elite. I don't want him dying. Stats are really good, though. Damn. Tempting. I could put Freeman in it. I'm not as worried about the Warhammer. We got this. No prisoners, no mercy. And... Those are some decent damage stats, at least. I think we'll probably go for Shea instead. And... Win. 
think I can I'm take fine. the Centurion. Okay, so basically I'm going to try and... You have negotiation points left. Nice. Here's some more money. I'm going to try and plow through some of these objectives with the Locust. And we'll kind of keep the rest we of the mechs as backup. Our intel places these objectives at various locations in this area. Head towards the areas marked on the map to locate the individual targets. Watch for enemy patrols in the Pump area. Jack. Just 400 meters. That's a lot of stuff. Actually, it's just a couple of mechs and the targets that we need to plow through. And while they look at us, they can get shot in the back by our heavies. Target down. Oh, out, 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 no, 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 let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Target acquired. Let's see how much you can take. Oh, my, my back center torso armor is already red. Try not to get shot in the back. You got it, sir. Yikes. Uh, I wish I had jump jets. Can I get through that? I think I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm stuck and I'm getting shot for it. Bruh. All right. Smashy, smashy. Don't know if that was even the objective. There are three... No, they're not. There are a couple of mechs chasing me. How? How is my lance still that far behind me? I've been running around in circles. Well, that's not comforting. Smashy, smashy. Okay, one of them's caught up at least. And then? Yeah, they're pathing badly or something. Let me three. That takes care of him. Oh, that's not good. Don't look at me. Okay, now you can look at me. It's actually... It's actually only the machine guns on the arms. That's not great. Fantastic. I thought I could get over this. Uh-oh. I think I just crushed that turret. Nearly there, Commander. Of course oh yeah, let's let's stop in the middle of this to pick up salvage. That seems like a good idea. My back arm is looking really bad. Oh crap. Oh no. Okay. Is this gonna explode? Let me move. a tank. I think I need help for this one. Oh no. Oh no. That's my friend. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, don't really want to stomp through something that might explode in a light mech, in a 20 ton mech. Wait, can I salvage this while running faster around it in circles? Kinda, yeah. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Scratch that target off the list. Fantastic. Hostile transport ship coming in. That's the last of the targets, Commander. Now get back here before hostiles converge on your position. Oh crap. 
As long as I get to the dropship, uh, basically everything stops. Don't have to worry about the rest of the lads. You're clear to board as Mechbear number one. Welcome back. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Would have gone a lot smoother if I wasn't confronted with a bunch of explosive looking stuff for the final objective. Alright, what do we got? Um, some fire starter salvage? I don't think I... Actually, the fire starter kind of has some potential. The one I piloted earlier was not bad. One, two, three, four, five. That is 25 tons. So not enough to make a fire starter right now. We'll, we'll have 30. We're going to be five short. Um, I'll take the tier one stuff down here. And there's actually not that much to choose from. Because we didn't smash everything like we usually do. So we've got 10 points left. Um, sure. Take some... Take a single heatsink. Take all this enforcer salvage. Except for one, I guess. And that's fine. Took a lot more damage to the big mechs than I would have expected. As long as we didn't lose components, it's no big deal. It, really? Uh, and we have a Rifleman. I've got the Rifleman as 60 tons. I thought it was like 45 or something. Jägermech is 65. What's the default for this? I think we're missing an AC5. The 3N has... One, two, three, four, five, six laser slots. That's pretty cool, actually. And two DACA slots. Um, no doubt the default armor on the arms is garbage. It is. Definitely want to maximize that. Uh, 240 engine core. We have obviously don't have. I'm definitely not going to hunt around for one just so we can try the Rifleman. But with all those slots, we could probably make something of it. Putting the most precious weapons in the arms and and then not armoring them up, maybe not the best idea. It obviously lets us do the pew pew at any angle, but I'd be putting the larges in the torso. Yeah, well, we're going to sell this anyway. I don't have anything. I don't have an engine core to shove in there, and I don't have anything to soup it up with. It will definitely take the weapons off its hands, though, first. And then... I don't think we can... Should I repair here? How far are we from an industrial hub? Three hops? And it's only, like... It's 45% more cost, but almost double the repair time. It's really, really negligible. It's not going to be better than this. We should do more repairs in system. We go straight to the next job. Alright. Improved sensors make a lot of sense on the sniper man. 
We don't have any double heat sinks or anything to play with. And we've already got 500 rounds for the AC2s. That should be fine. Almost a million to repair it. We've got 16 and a half. The Locust just needs a paint job. Uh, same with the Dragon. This guy lost a tier 2 medium laser as well. Oh, it was in the arms. Yeah, that's not that surprising. I'd rather put a easily replaceable large laser here. But it's going to be tier 0. Hmm. But I probably jumped the gun giving it tier 2 medium lasers in an easily removable arm. We do have... We do have one ER large laser lying around. I'm not going to put that on an arm. Absolutely not. So we can't replace this tier 2 medium right now. Well, we probably can. And this guy also... Lost a tier one large. Alright. Weapon upgrades. Large laser. Gimme gimme. Medium laser. All of them please. And medium laser... Tier two? Sure. We should be able to repair these outright. Thirty-two days. It's a little bit rough. Oh, can we put better mediums in while we're at it? I've only got two. Uh, unless I want to swap them for tier three medium pulse lasers. Honestly, I'm not as impressed with medium pulse lasers as I thought I would be. Uh, this is probably fine for now. And what was the other one? I think we've... Fixed up all the ones that lost a component, so we can just press A now. And we have... 1, 2, 3, 4 mechs. Uh, I think that's 190 tons. Still available? Probably shouldn't do a double defense mission. Could go for... a demolition mission? That'll push us over into Heroic for House Davian as well, I think. Um, and then we can probably take this one. Well, that's 13 days of travel. Plus what? Plus 10 days, so 23. We'll have all but three of our mechs available by then. That should be fine. We'll do one of these missions and then this mission, or this multi-mission. Which is probably just two missions back to back. Let's -a go. And... Mission does not start in 52 days. Mission can start in... which Centurion should I take? These are actually identical. Uh, double blackjack. And... which pilots do we have available? 
There's only like one that's healthy. I'll probably put Dawson with his terrible, terrible defense in the blackjack that we can most afford to have its arms blown off. I'm ready to paint these lands red with the blood of my enemies. Charming. And we want someone kind of tanky. Both of these Centurions have an AC5, so I don't really want to use Dobbs, but might still be the best choice. Bruised means our most elite pilot, or potentially most elite pilot, is uh, much more prone to dying. So let's maybe not. I just want all of you to Freeman, know absolutely. Base. Since his name is Freeman, I kind of want someone to patch in the audio from Freeman's mind instead of this voice. And... Should I use Dobbs? I think we'll go Winter. Oh, he's bruised as well? Hmm. He's pretty good. It takes a long while for him to fall by the wayside. I think I don't want to risk him very much. I'm probably trying to level up Shea, even though we're going to take some more damage on the Centurion this way. 190 out of 230 tons will probably be fine. Probably. Hello, hello, Mr. Dane. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Departure. Hangar doors open. Stand clear. Stand clear. Online. So two bug standard centurions, pretty much, and two. Uh, I think bug standard blackjacks. Targeting a remote farming facility for destruction. Go to Knot Point Alpha and tear the entire facility down. We're the good guys, not actually. Um, yeah, I think it was the Jaeger mech that we altered a bit. Downgraded a couple of the AC5s, so we only have AC2s. Only one ammo pool. The same range and everything on all of the guns, and then more heat sinks for the medium lasers. Evil Plow, thank you very much for the gifted soap. Much appreciated. Mr. Dane, hope you like. Thank you so much, Evil Plow. One thing that the pilot skill specific to the mech system uh, kind of obfuscates for me a bit is I've got unidentified mechs approaching our installation. Oops, that was the wrong... God damn it. I need to check my weapon groups. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, left click can be the AC5. Right for the mediums. That should be okay. And I used to use mouse 3 for melee, but ended up using mouse 3 for other weapons a lot of the time. And it got confusing. Good job. Medium fries? What? The Centurion's actually a really good data mech. Like, it's, it's got a bit of everything. A bit of try it, try all these different types of weapons and see what you like. It's also pretty versatile. Oh crap, how did I miss that? We are facing a lot before we get to the objective. 
the nose, I mean the big giant hunchback where the weapons are. And then we've only got a single laser or two to worry about. I should have punched him. Preferably when he doesn't have an arm to punch back with. Hurry up and die. Oh my goodness. What have we got left? Urby and a panther. Not too scary. Wait, which Urby is it? AC-10. Let's get rid of that. That was his small laser that I shot off somehow. And there's both of his weapons. Cool, cool, cool. We only have one location to hit, and it seems like all the resistance jumped out at us. Our target is now marked. That Go shit ain't gonna grow on its own. I'm getting my coffee to be ready for the factory. Fantastic. I need to do some off-screen stuff, I think, for that SE save. There's a whole lot of, like, updating old outposts. That's the same thing for like an hour or two. Updating old builds to basically just tear out the tier 2 or 3 assembly machines and do the same build again but with bigger, faster ones. Demolish the base. Okay. War crimes. This is definitely not a military target. It's not a war crime if I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, there's a threat. Oh no. What did you kill? I wish the can't fire LRMs because you're too close sound wasn't so aggravating. Sometimes I want to spam it to hit them the moment that it is in uh, outside of minimum range. Smash him good. New target fire started. Here we go. I wonder if that could hit. Enemy net destroyed. Oh, that's a, that's a tank. Target sent to hell. There we go. You completely destroyed this area. Great work. I missed. Let's get to the evac point now before more reinforcements arrive. Nice. This is Spice. Minus one enemy. Whoopsie daisy. Hey guys, watch this shot. New target, Vindicator. Vindicator and a Centurion. I don't think we can turn our backs on those. Time to get 
never say that again. some more. That'll do. I think we got ammo explosions. That will do. Oh my god. Maybe we should have just run. Blow his arms off. That's a dragon. going? You wanted to play. Come back and play. That's a lot of armor. Alright, let's get out of here. Seems like someone else took care of the locust. Fine, chores are done for the day, nice. Just booted Factorio up for fetching. Another one? Just run. Just run. Try and break line of sight. Pulled into that, we could be fighting forever. Yeah, I don't want to fight another... Another pair of decently good DPS medium mechs. Okay. This wasn't a multiple mission operation, was it? Was it? Yeah, the dragon does indeed have a lot of armor. No engine cores, unless you count the Urbis. <laughs> the Urbis engine core. Uh, yeah, that's a no for me, actually. We got Rifleman Salvage. I think I'd rather take the extra five tons from a Jaeger mech. Even if it's only, like, one extra ton that we can actually use. Not a whole lot to choose from here. Let's just take some money. Yeah, why not? And that was not part of a multiple mission. Oh yeah, this is before the multiple mission operation. Cool, cool, cool. Let's sell this thing. And I should probably take the time to remove the large laser. 50 grand, ouchie. And... Should I bother with the small? 
fine. How much LRM10 ammo do we have? Quite a lot. Oh, three heat sinks. That's a lot of heat sinks. Fantastic. Alright, let's grab all of that. And I don't think we need to waste time on some tier zero medium lasers. Let's just sell that one. And then we didn't lose any components. So let's just repair all. And let's check our schedule here. We've got four mechs at least. Yeah. Rifleman. Oh, that's. We're going to sell that. Dragon. That's being repaired. Blackjack. Hmm. We might have to wait a few days before we do this mission here. It's a multiple mission operation. That's probably two missions. So just to be safe, I'd rather have... What? Three centurions? Four centurions? Wait, no, we're selling this one. Three centurions. Couple of blackjacks. Dragon. That's five, six... Heavy max. Yeah, we should be able to do it. Alright, let's go. New non-Factorio game? Uh, kind of. I think this is the third time I've streamed it. RPHL, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's times three. Two war zones and an assassination. I wish we could get a war zone at the end of a multiple mission operation. So there's zero temptation to stay behind at the end of it. Um, Rifleman's ready to be sold. Get out of here. So we've currently, if we don't wait, we've got a Centurion, a Dragon, a Blackjack, and one of the Light Mix. Uh, if we wait like nine days, actually, which one of these is ready in nine days? I don't think we should take on this mission. Uh, we've kind of wasted a jump, but it's better than taking on a three times multiple mission operation that we almost certainly can't manage. I could punch technically above my weight here, rep 8. We haven't been exactly struggling um, with these missions. I could take on that high reward quest. Industrial espionage. now we have to go back here. Well, it would have been one hop anyway. Still, we wasted some time coming here to check on this. Alright, um, let's go back here, I guess. And 
contracts and new Sirtis shipyards. We're gonna upset the independence at this rate, and they're everywhere. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. All right, we definitely want someone piloting the dragon. Uh, the Warhammer's not ready for nine days. I don't want to waste nine days. It's not much, but it's uh, it's not nothing. So I guess uh, fill it with centurions. Oh, we could take a blackjack. Should be a bit better at shooting down the helicopters and stuff. Then again, we've got LRM 10s on two of these. Which pilots should I take? Let's get these rat bastards. Yes, indeed. Wait, I want you to level your gunnery skill, your ballistics. Can't believe we're being paid to be we'll give awesome. Freeman with the good evasion and stuff oh, the shorter so range loud. one. And Here winter, I guess. My mech's bright and shiny. Okay, that should be fine. What was that for? But just a heads up, or nominator? Security forces to be on alert Welcome in. Here. I am significantly faster than my lads in this thing. Something to bear in mind. Something's shooting auto cannons at us. Oh, it's it's our max. Oh, hello. That kind of surprised me. Ouchie. Evasive maneuvers didn't uh, turn out to be sufficient there. Oh, it's the one objective really far away. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Need to let my lance catch up anyway. Oh. SRM 2 streak plus R... What's the point of a streak SRM2? Uh, and R4. AC10 level 3, damn. That's pretty good. I wouldn't mind some streak SRMs. Like the kind that have to lock on. Two medium lasers on this thing. I could have outranged it, or rather, I could have let my lance outrange it. Like that. Attention, unidentified battle mech. This is a restricted area. Please identify yourself. Their 
There's your target objective, Commander. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Alright, it's another stumpy mission. Car park? Get out of here. Yes. Yes, it has. Not sure why you need a parking lot at the edge of this outpost. It's being shot at over here. Oh, it's a... It's a Jaeger. Let's try and knock off its legs. I kind of want another one. Weren't we doing this mission for someone we have bad rep with? We're probably not going to be able to salvage that mech, actually. Oh well. Maybe I should have blown it to pieces. So we can salvage the chassis. This tank pointing its barrels at me is not fantastic. The fact that it's still alive is not fantastic either. I wish I could just order my lance to attack the buildings. I guess I'll tell them to attack this instead. Don't run. I think I should leave this one to my squad and keep smashing. I'm 
showing heavy damage to a number of the facility structures. We appear to be about halfway there. You guys gonna kill that stuff that's like right behind you? Guess not. I wouldn't call this torching. See if we can fight these things where the stray bullets are going to cause more damage. For the stuff that we need to smash. Just a wee little bit more smashing. What do we got? Jenna... Oh, Warhammer. That demands attention. Where's the Warhammer? Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Look at me! Look at me! Okay, show me your back instead, I guess. to go. Back is pretty close. Rebuchet! Oh, I kind of want to salvage it, but we probably can't anyway. Maybe if I core it. Maybe if I core it, it'll be worthless enough that we're allowed to salvage it, and maybe we'll have a engine that we can use. There's another mission for this uh, quest line. AC 10 tier 3, SRM 2. St oh, yeah, that was the. Uh, those are from the loot boxes. Alright, Warhammer. No, that's a Wolverine. We've only got 18 salvage points. We can get the trebuchet, and it's actually got. Everything but the core. Only three medium lasers? It's got slots for four medium lasers. Alright. Um. Sure. I hope we've got it. I was gonna say, I hope we have an engine core 250 lying around. And then here's a 260, as if to taunt me. Not that we would have the salvage for it anyway. That's weird. Maybe it was patched. Um, I only saw these start appearing randomly in salvage. Or maybe not so randomly, but I only saw these directly in salvage, like, in the last few missions of my main game. 
but here we are at medium mechville and they're starting to pop up we should probably take another point of warhammer salvage and next time next time we see a warhammer we can put one together because i kind of do want the trebuchet Although I, I'm a little pessimistic that we're going to have an engine that's going to be suitable. Alright. And then? Industrial espionage. We need to go over here. I guess I could try doing the missions that are supposed to lead to getting an elite pilot. But the two that I've tried were bugged. Also, isn't it Preacher? Yeah, this is like recommended rec recommended reputation 12, so I don't think we should be trying that yet. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got 20 days to get our mechs repaired. And that's looking totally fine, actually. Uh, let's see if we can fix the trebuchet. Did you check out Phantom Brigade? I did not, actually. Engine Core 270. These are all too heavy. I don't suppose the black market is selling a 250 right now? If we even have a black market here, which apparently we do not. Not much of one, anyway. never have too many heat sinks. Okay. Let's see what we're selling here. I don't really need another Centurion. We'd have to get an engine core anyway. It looks very neat. New mech strategy game. Sounds fantastic. There's a... there's like a free one that I've been meaning to try out. What was it called? I don't think I still have it in my... Oh, is this it? Mega Mech? Mega Mech. Yeah, I've downloaded it. I haven't tried running it just yet. Um... Alright, well... We could touch up the armor and stuff, right? That alone is going to take some time. What kind of LRMs do we have lying around? I want 15s or 5s. Well, 5s are kind of weak. 15s are a little bit better damage per tonnage. You get 5 for 2... Uh, 10 for 5, 15 for 7, and 20 for 10. It's weird. So the 10s and 20s are the same number of missiles per ton. The 5s are the best, and the LRM 15s are the second best per ton, but they've, uh, they've obviously got better... better damage for the one missile slot. And here's what I really hate with the trebuchet, the uh... one of the most precious weapons is really really exposed. So I don't know if I even want to put better LRMs in it. If this is going to be our... our holdout until we get a catapult, we maybe just put up with the crappy LRM t uh, 15s, tier 0. And all the lasers are in the arms as well. We could put three medium lasers on the right if I swap something out. Anyway, there's no point until we... Un until we get to... Uh, a hub that's selling a 250 engine. 
There is, however, a point in repairing our mechs, hopefully before we get where we're going. 12 days, fantastic. Even if it was just one jump, we would have everything fully repaired before we get here. Looks very neat. Oh, wait, I read that, sorry. Phantom Brigade. Is it Battletech, or is it like... different kind of art style universe. It does look very cool. Okay. What do we got? Quest, industrial espionage. Uh, it's a raid. We've got all of our mechs ready. Fantastic. And we got 230 tons to play with, which means we could probably put in our pew hammer right here. Oh wait, is this... no, no, no. Surely there's no engine for sale here. Nope. Ooh. LRM 10 streak. Nah, that's fine. Alright, deploy. Should we consider another type of mech? This is 65. I could do a blackjack instead of a Centurion. So we've got some more long range. I think if we have the two Centurions that have LRM 10s, it should be fine though. And I think the hammer has LRM 5. Yeah, 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 this, this should be fine. Illicit the goods. Ships are right off the factory line. Why aren't we getting in on that? To search when crossing territory borders. It's quite clever, actually. Either way, Rashford Owens stands to gain quite a lot by us putting an end to this. I'm gonna look for is a facility that contains extra stuff ship since my mech is faster than the, the others. Stocks will ground the mammoths for quite some time. Just have to walk within a certain range. Yeah, 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 there it is. Before this uh, glowy light is activated. Got another one. Good job. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Probably could have avoided that little bit of damage there. Target destroyed. New target vindicator. Vindicator and was that an Urbi with an auto cannon twenty? We should probably focus this guy before the little mech that could catches up with us. There we go. You need punching. Is that another? It is indeed. One more. Gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Where's that Irby that I think I saw? 
Oh, there it is. And it is indeed an auto cannon 20. And it's gone. Cool, that was easy. I'm not worried about the small laser. Are we smashing this? Destroy the command centers. Specific buildings. Okay. That's the mission? That was quick. Okay, we gotta get out first. Otherwise we're gonna fight a million things for no reward. Oh, it's right in front of me. I think we should probably just focus this first. Hit the helicopters, please. Actually, that guy's trying to run, and he's not much of a threat. We should probably... Probably bounce. Don't let him waste our time. Could, could you guys... Maybe get that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Kill confirmed. Seen that myself. Maybe I should have waited till they finished that. It's fine. This will no doubt please our employers, but the murky me has to admire the new searches for coming up with a smuggling plan. Oh well. Another job well done. So how much did we get? Gimme, gimme, gimme. SRM four tier three. Flame and tier two, what do you do? Okay, what's this? Can't afford the quick draw, it's been engine cord anyway. Uh, Vindicator as well. We could take the, uh, the Urby that fits a AC20 onto it. 32 kph, amazing. How heavy is an autocannon 20? I need to compare it to the, uh, the other artilleries. Well, autocannon 20 is the opposite of artillery, but anyway. Alright, we've got 15 points. Probably take the two half-decent SRM6s. AC2. Maybe that AC5. Not excited about an SRM2. We've got seven points left. Uh, we could take this for selling. And how about a heat sink? Why not? And that's a pretty good reward. Thank you for your purchase of our ven venerable Vindicator Battle Mech. 45 tons, PPC small laser, LRM5, and a medium laser. Difficult ejection, yuck. Decent speed and decent jump height. I don't know, the speed and jump isn't that good for a 45 ton mech. Hmm. It's not a whole lot of armament. Well, we can always sell it. And we are now considered professional. Fantastic. Difficulty 80. Yeah, we're not doing these. Um, Didn't we have a goal to increase our rep? We still have a goal to increase our rep. Alright. 
down here we've got tier 8, this is tier 7. Cleaned up most of the missions here. For the moment. And all of these are like ruining the reputation. They're also multiple mission. But most of these are ruining the rep that we've got with various factions. We can do a defense and beat up Capellans. Do a multiple mission and well, we're probably not going to jump into a 270-ton multiple mission. This one's only 230. The nearest industrial hub... Oh, I could go back here. We've got 21.3 mil and there's a hero mech for sale. All of a sudden. Uh, we should probably... Was that here all along? Or I don't remember. We should probably have a peek at that. And then we can... Save a bunch of money on our repairs. They're pretty minimal repairs, though, so... We might just find our... Engine core for our trebuchet, though. Alright, let's give that a try. And, sadly, we will not be using the urban mech. I know, I know. 14 ton auto cannon 2. Uh, auto cannon 20, rather. As opposed to... I haven't bought any of those artillery pieces yet. Okay, then. It's actually got a lot of energy slots. How much armor does the Irby have? Oh, it's got a quirk. Uh, that's a lot of extra armor. But for a basically stationary target, it's still not really enough. Thirty tons. So fourteen... Fourteen and a half tons for weapons. Almost half of it. What if you put, like, large lasers or something? That's 35.5. This would be... Pretend tears aren't a thing, this would be 40 damage, though. A couple of large lasers for 20. Same as the autocannon 20, but much more range. And we've still got four and a half tons left. Probably need some more heat sinks, though. Yeah, I don't know, I don't see it. Ever. Not for a lance. Alright, and... Should I keep the Vindicator? The jump height is almost good, the speed is almost good. It's like the same as the Centurion. Or the Catapult. I guess the speed is okay. For 45 tons, that's not that good. It's slower than the... Oh, this one has a bigger engine that we slapped in. Because <laughs> Probably because that's what we had. Uh, but yeah, it's like slightly worse than the Blackjack for mobility. Medium laser, small laser, PPC, LRM5. That's like all over the place. And not enough of anything to do anything in particular. I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna sell it. It doesn't have like hero or rare mech stats or anything. I could always strip it for the engine core before we do. It uses the same engine core as our blackjack over here. Sure, why not? So we'll travel f first, I think.
Okay, another hero dragon? Um... Yes, probably. It's a different hero. DRG Fang. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, what is this? Plus 20... All the torso sections and arms are plus 20 each, compared to... Same thing. And then 15, 18, 18 for structure for the torso. So that's the same. Um, top speed, weapon cooldown, ballistic projectile speed, energy heat generated, laser beam. 10, 15, 30, 15, 20. So that's a bit different. I mean, it's more or less the same stat boosts, just slightly different. And then... What else have we got here? Nothing that I want. I don't like the Hunchback all that much. It's very... I mean, not that the AI would do this, but it's very, very easy to blow up the obvious big weapon target. And then the mech is basically useless. Ooh, it's got endo. So does this one. What did it save us? At 60 tons, endo structure gives us three tons to play with, which is more than you would think. Uh, and then we've got only three slots for lasers. That makes me sad. Only one slot for missiles. That kind of makes me sad. And two slots for ballistic. Can I ask why your spaceship builds use two reactors? Uh, partly for symmetry, partly because they act as giant heat batteries. So we can put fuel in just one of them at a time. Um, and not waste fuel to, like, heat that basically just gets deleted when we reach maximum heat, but the uranium fuel cells are still being consumed. Zaxxon, welcome in. Good to see you again. So this thing has only one missile, four lasers, one, one ballistic. I definitely like the flame version better. You gotta have medium lasers on almost everything. This only gives us three at the most, but I mean, I'm still gonna get it. It's really, really, really good. Is the speed the same? 89. That's a lot. Versus 89. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one reactor prevents the other from losing heat? Well, basically, the reactor itself is like a giant piece of heat pipe. Um, just like the energy beam receiver, we can use it as a store of heat. And if we have two of them, we can avoid, uh, like, wasting heat after we put in a new one. Oh, do we have an engine core 250 to be picked up here? Two... Oh, what a tease. Really? 230, 265? Should I make a slower trebuchet? 10.5 ton, how big is the 250? I can't actually see it unless I... Twelve point five ton. Ten internal heat sinks. As opposed to ten ton. Ten point five. Wait. 
How much did this... How much did I say? 12.5. Okay. That was the 250, right? So we're saving two tons. But we lose one built-in heatsink. Is this worth it for like an early crappy catapult? I mean, it's not that crappy. It's got theoretically the same weapons that we can put on it. A couple of LRMs and four medium lasers. That's like the standard catapult. It's just that these things get their arms shot off so much more easily. So one reactor prevents the other... Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. In before we find a catapult, like, next mission. Alright, let's strip this thing of its engine. I'll take the peeper. This is probably cheap to remove anyway. I'm not excited about the LRM. It's probably... It's literally... Free to remove the ammo. I'll always take more heat sinks. And we may as well. Yeah, it's like practically free to remove the jump jets. Cool. Strip this thing before we sell it. And repair all of our mechs. Unless we want to. Slap in some better medium lasers in the slots that don't generally blow up. It's a million years before we might try the sniper cannon. I can probably ignore that ammo for now. Heat banks, I've talked about this before, but um, I don't think they're like normal Battletech cannon, are they? I could be wrong. But the more I look at these, the more I wonder why I would bother. A heat sink gives you a little bit more heat capacity, heat sinking, and it doesn't explode. That's kind of... that's kind of better. Alright, fine, we'll make the trebuchet. Um, and I guess... Could take some more medium lasers. Can we upgrade the ones that we've got? Some of them at least. L literally one. That's just to make it tier two. Let's get rid of all the tier zeros first. So we can make two tier twos right now. I wanted to get... I wanted to get all of our mediums on the dragon to be tier 3, but alas. We could put a better SRM-6 on it, but it might only be one tier higher. No, we could go two tiers higher. We could even get the smaller spread as well, but that costs an extra ton, and we need special ammo for it, which I don't think we've got double for. SRM Ar Artemis ammo, one ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The double taste case takes up two slots and gives you a little bit more than double the usual. I could put a better machine gun in it, if we've got it since since that's never getting damaged hmm how many better machine guns can we make uh where are they machine gun tier 0 be gone Tier 2, I mean Tier 1, be gone. And we can make one Tier 3. 
that that's actually good. That's definitely worth slapping in there. Because it increases the range, not just the damage. And the optimal range. Optimal range is almost 200 meters now. This can almost go to 400. Much better. And as for the medium lasers, we don't have any tier 3s. It's fine. Uh, the rest of these I think we just repair. And the trebuchet is going to get a slightly worse engine slapped into it. We're going to have two more tons to play with. Uh, we're going to put in another medium laser. We're going to put in non-complete garbage medium lasers. But since they're all on the arms, and the arms are not that well protected... Hmm, actually... So we have no heat sinks at the moment. Cooling heat per second is only 0.9. That's pretty bad. We could go to 1.1 if I use the last two tons for heat sinks. Um, and then we would still have no armor. I'm thinking we get the LRM-15 out of the left arm. Two reasons. Uh, it's going to be shot off sometimes. But also, this thing has a perk where the torso weapon reloads faster. And then we're just going to end up with the two LRMs out of sync. I could maybe put like an LRM-20 in the torso. Maybe even a good one. LRM-20 streak, tier 2. And we've still got six tons to play with. What if we max out the armor? We've still got three tons to play with. I'll strip it down in a couple of places, usually the head and the legs. Yeah, that should be fine. That's still a lot of head armor. Definitely give it sensors. And we can give it a whopping three heat sinks. 1.2 cooling per second, maximum of 2.94 heat per second, although realistically with medium lasers and an LRM-20, that's not going to be happening all that often. We can take these out and put in double LRM ammo to get a bit more for the same tonnage. And... We could actually probably fire all of our weapons together three times and not overheat, considering how long they, the refresh on the LRM-20 is. Uh, where is it? Cooldown, 3.51 seconds. Yeah, you'd have, you'd still have to be pretty irresponsible to overheat this thing. What if we fire all the lasers continuously? Uh... 2.25 per second times 4 is 9 per second. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, that was heat per shot. Okay, 0.45 times 4. 1.8 per second. Compared to 1.2 cooling. We get a bit of heat from the engine, but no, that should be fine. That's actually going to take many seconds to overheat. I think it should be okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Need upgraded LRMs to make the trebuchet worth it? What kind of upgrade do you mean? 20 streak isn't bad. I'd, l I'd rather have 20 streak Artemis, but what can you do? Alright, that actually seems pretty good. What's our speed? 74? Wait, I thought we put in a smaller engine. 
How fast is the trebuchet normally? Huh. I thought this would end up being, like, slower than the catapult, but, uh, no. It's kind of like a faster, lighter catapult. With the medium lasers where they can be easily shot off. It's probably fine. Uh, we did put the improved sensors in. Oh, can we give it jump jets? Okay, how many jump jets can we give it? We can give it four. That's two tons. For 65 jump height. But you can also use it to go faster forward. Hmm. Do I want... I'd have to drop... 0.2 heat cooling per second. Unless I'm gonna, like, drop a couple of medium lasers? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Or maybe, like, half the LRM, less than half the LRM ammo. At 1100, we've got uh, 55 shots. That's pretty good. No, I, I think we'll just skip the jump jets for this build. That should be fine. Now we've got some fire support, or we will eventually. And I think we're... Oh, I didn't reconfigure the new dragon yet. We've still got 11 mil. Should be able to afford anything we want. Um... Definitely let it keep the endo structure for now. What kind of cooling we got? Only 1.1, 3.29 maximum. Auto cannon 10. Why does the center torso, or the left torso, only have room for one medium? Why don't we put it somewhere where it won't get shot off every time? SRM-6, two mediums, and an AC-10. This really is, despite the stat boosts being better on the bang quirk, I think. I didn't look at them that closely. Like a slightly worse version of what we've already got. I could drop the AC-10 for, like, a couple of machine guns, put on another medium laser, maybe some more heat sinks. That might not be the worst idea. Let's see how it looks. Uh, is this really all I've got for machine guns? A tier 1 and a tier 0? A uh, tier 2 and a tier 0? What if... Hmm. I do wish there was something between half a ton and six tons for bullet weapons. Ballistic weapons. Because I, I often want to put in something like a machine gun, only stronger, but not like six bloody tons. What if we went at 20? How many tons would we have to scrounge up? Only two. This thing's 14 and the 10 is 12. Huh. Huh. For something very fast, very armored, very aggressive. What if I put in like small lasers? That'd that's that'd scrounge up one ton. How much heat does this give us? Five point seven per shot. Damn. Hmm. Small laser. Got a lot of those lying around. I could upgrade them. Just to try this on. Uh. 
uh, we'd obviously swap this out for AC 20 ammo. How much do we get per ton? Only 20 shots. Which is still kind of a lot for an AC-20, kind of. We've only got one SRM-6, we could probably drop a ton of ammo for that. 320... Gives us 53 and a bit shots. So, two tons of AC-20. Maybe drop the extra small laser. So its effective range is way reduced, but uh, what's the DPS comparison? 5.418 compared to the 10 that it had. At tier 3, the 10 gives us 4.8 almost. That's like hardly a downgrade even. Especially for two tons and more range. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the AC-10, I guess. Do we have double ammo for it? We do. And then... Good. I don't think I can afford a large laser up here. Trebuchet is a superior weapon? Why or what? Need upgraded LRMs, indeed. Craft work, rash shirt. Welcome in, hope you're doing well. Um, let's just go medium. I don't love this variant. Actually, what was it originally? I don't use the revert button because I've seen a bug where like it thinks we've lost stuff that we haven't. Two mediums, AC-10. I swapped out a little bit of ammo so we can have the AC-10 double. 100 rounds, that's pretty good. Oh. Plus 40 over here. We're definitely putting in a heat sink instead of that. Or a medium laser. Maybe I just shouldn't be as concerned about heat. 1.1 cooling per second. Heat per second if we use everything is 3.7. But it's not going to be using everything for very long, right? Oh, what about armor? We could have way more armor on this thing. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I definitely want to have a lot of armor, please. Why don't we just put machine guns on it? Can I buy some? I'm actually kind of out of machine guns. You're joking. You're selling only literally everything but machine guns that's just rude the one time I mean I could put a couple of what do we have like a tier 0 and a tier 2 I guess for the moment we could do that So we've got three mediums. We've got maxed out armor. Plus 20 on the arms. 60 each, that's actually good. Quite a lot on the torso as well. Drop down the head and legs a little bit. 
until we reach some half ton amount. And machine gun ammo. 5200. I don't have a half ammo? Yeah, I do. 2600. Is, I think. Hundred and thirty seconds of continuous firing from both guns. Yeah, that's a little bit a little bit low. We'll put in at least one ton for the machine gun ammo. Maybe make it two, since we've got a lot more tonnage to play with. Since we removed that auto cannon. Let's give it more heat sink. Uh, maybe I could give it a bigger engine. I've got a 320 lying around. That would be... Uh, 3.5 more tons? Standard gyro weight is heavier. Does that mean... 56... This is 51.5. That was 4.5 more tons. 19 to 22.5. Yeah. So that weight doesn't include the gyro weight, I guess. Does this mean the gyro is stronger and this thing can turn around better? Can torso twist better? If I put in the bigger engine? Projected max speed 86. This is 89. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, this is 81. What am I saying? Pro the actual speed is 89, but it says projected max speed 81. So this, this would put us up to 95. Honestly, I kind of like that idea. It's like... What if a light mech was actually 60 tons covered in armor and could punch you in the face? Three mediums, two machine guns, and a SRM-6. We've got four more tons to play with, with maxed out armor. Probably more heat sinks. Uh, I can't give it jump jets. Where can I put these? Oh, uh, and probably some more machine gun ammo. Should we just give it a double? 13,000 rounds. Uh, divided by 20 per second. Is 650 seconds or 10.83 minutes of continuous... Machine gun fire. I think that might be enough. In fact, maybe one ton is enough. 5200... ...is 260 seconds, 4.33 minutes. I think... ...4 minutes 20 seconds is of continuous machine gun fire is probably enough. Probably. Uh, and I haven't given it SRM yet, ammo yet. One ton should be way more than enough for a single SRM-6. So then, one more heat sink, I guess? Definitely give it the improved sensors. Cool, so this is a... 500 armor, 95 kph, 60 ton mech, with three medium lasers and two machine guns and an SRM-6. It's going to get right in your face. I definitely need to change the AI rules for it. I should give it a name. The Smork. Uh, 
Dragon B R G S M O R C. Fantastic. What's the Dragon Hero Endurance perk? Uh, extra armor. Plus 20 on the arms. The right, left, torso. And yeah, it's a lot. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of broken. Cool, cool, cool. Start work. Uh, I don't want to touch this thing until... I, I guess I can do it now. Is Scout the AI I need? I want it to go right into things' faces, actually. Juggernaut... This prefers assault units as targets. I'm not necessarily looking for that. Move aggressively towards the enemy using jump jets if possible and engage at negative less than 200 meters. That is what I'm looking for, just not necessarily don't break off until one of you dies. Ambusher? Prefers heavy units. Jump towards the target. AI will rush towards the target. If less than 300 meters from enemy and the enemy has line of sight, move behind cover. Once out of line of sight, it'll work to regain line of sight to fire on the enemy. That's kind of a little bit too, too far in the other direction. Vanilla logic? Might actually be fine for this. Just engage to the optimal range according to your weapons, which means very short. Because uh, I think the scout AI was like... If it's a small enemy, we'll engage aggressively at close range. We'll engage in a circle fight, trying to gain advantage with spins and occasional hit and run. That might not be the worst with uh, the 90-something KP. Like, this thing's as fast as a... as a locust, almost. It's not quite a locust. It's, it's up there, though. I'll try the scout AI for this one. Try and keep an eye on it and see what it does. And this one is set to Juggernaut. I guess that's probably fine. It's got more medium laser. Alright. Where should we go? Where should we go? When do we get our trebuchet? 56 days! And 38 days till we get our new dragon. Alright. Um... We're not going here. Oh yeah, we were looking at heading back down this way. Isn't isn't Mentassa where we just were? I could Oh, there's like two high reward quests here. Invasion defense, frontline invasion. I'm guessing we can only choose one of them. Well, we've got good rep with Davian, and it's double war zone. I kind of like that. Sure, why not? And grab some water. Okay, what do we have here? 
accepting this mission will cause House Davian to retract their invasion defense mission. Indeed. Sure. Uh, it's only one mission. I thought it would be Warzone times two. Or do we have another mission somewhere else after this? Uh, and we are a hero to House Davian, so we get to... We get to say what we like. Rewards. Warzone, Rainstorm... Forest, summer, late afternoon. I wish they would tell us, uh, like, the ambient temperature that we're going to be dealing with. Rain makes it sound like, um, like we're going to have fewer heat troubles. Summer Exo makes it sound confirmed. like we're going to have Critical more. Conditions in the area will restrict visibility. We've got a max tonnage of 270, which means we can throw in the dragon and probably a Jagermech as well. Cool, cool, cool. And pilots. Who's the Jagermech pilot? Fleming already used it a bit, apparently. Um, I kind of want our DACA enthusiast to use the Jagermech for now. Time to seek and destroy. Also has plenty of defense. We'll keep Freeman in the Warhammer. He's just about to get competent with it. And who's going to take the dragon? I think... Uh, Bring on the tangos. Let's make some money. I think we have to start over with any pilot familiarity with this thing. Because it's a different variant. Who should we put... In the dragon. Probably winter. Definitely winter. Look at that. Look at those stats. Beautiful. Good thinking. I'm on it. All right. We'll be trying to keep an eye on the smoke dragon. See how the AI handles it. Shouldn't our other dragon be running up into its face? Or do I have to give it an order to make that happen? Alright, we don't actually have to defend this area. We just have to kill a number of enemies. What's that other friendly mech? It is a Shadowhawk with no armor, but every one of its Target weapons are working. Oh! Jenna and Phoenix Hawk coming in. I want to send the dragon specifically at that enemy and try and see how it... See how it handles, see how it behaves. I kind of ran past it. Does it not make a decision very often? That actually wouldn't surprise me. Ooh, a 
was that a headshot? No, I think it got caught. Alright, let's stand our Jaeger mech up on this hill. F3, F3. Oh, and that might need our attention. I think I'll switch to the other dragon. I don't think I can ever get the AI to pilot that the way I would like. Although it's being pretty aggressive right now, it's just following me. Yeah, punch him. Yeah. Get him. Okay, I want to pilot it. Where's the button? Here we go. More enemies inbound. They're really 95 KPH. Watch out. Feels good. Target destroyed. I think the Jägermack can snipe all the way from back there at this stuff. Should probably leave the Warhammer next to it, like I said I was going to last time. Uh, F2, F3, there we go. Keep each other safe. Oh, and weapon groups have... Absolute garbage, as usual. Okay. Machine guns, medium lasers, SRM, and punchy punch. I don't mind the punch... Well, I do have, like, Z and C set up for 5 and 6, though I always forget. Um, but I don't mind reaching for the 5 button punch, because... The time it takes running into range and you have to wait for the other weapons to stop firing anyway, it's not really a problem. New target, Griffin. Target acquired. Two Griffins. The speed of this thing makes me think it should have jump jets though. Yeah, our ally is almost gone. Made to attack it, but I probably would have hyped in focus fire and had our snipers move. Looks like you got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. I'm fine. That takes care of him. Trebuchet and Trebuchet. Approaching our two friends over there. Target acquired. Uh, F4, F1. Sends my little wingman after that tank. And then back to me. Oh, Warhammer's actually taken a bit of damage to specifically the left torso, I think it is. It's only armor, but still. It's a little bit concerning. Oh, 
down you go. Took a little longer than I would have liked. This guy's already done some. Four more to go until we've finished the mission, but we can stay as long as we like. I think the evac uh, more than likely will be where it started. That thing's gonna die so quickly, but we should still probably try and keep it alive if only as a meat shield. I think it's about to die before I can do anything. Battlemaster? Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 don't engage yet. Get out of range. Ouchie. We need the whole lance for this. I was not expecting to see a battle master yet. And whoever gets closest will focus fire on. This is close enough, I guess. Probably shouldn't have gone into punching range. That's fine. And who's next? You guys focus that. I'll keep this one busy. Let's keep circling. Get out of its line of torso twist when I can. Cover sounds like a good idea. That's not very good. Okay, okay. has both his arms. Alright, what do we got? Battlemaster still has most of its weapons. We've lost a large laser only on our... On our Warhammer, that's actually shockingly good. Understandable. Wait, you already lost that. Oh, your leg as well. Oh, crap. Okay. Unless it's just like two tanks or something, we probably want to leave before the next wave shows up. Which it already has. Where was that? It is helicopter. We're on your target, Commander. The AI for the helicopters is absolutely terrible. Actually, I think it's worse with the AI mod because they um they sort of fly straight at you and gain a ton of speed, and then they can't do anything but 
just sort of fly over you, whether that's a bad idea or not. Yeah, yeah, I better stop this fight. It's kind of silly that I can just stop everything from happening just by walking into here, but... Oh, crap. Okay, 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 okay. I shouldn't have even thought about it for a second there. That Warhammer is... Dunsky. It's still taking damage. Stop talking! Oh my god. Rihanna. End the mission. That went from bad to much worse for our poor little Warhammer very, very, very quickly. We can get our first Battlemaster, but it's a mess. Um, what kind of engine does it need? 340. I'm pretty sure I don't have one of those lying around. Uh, what kind is it? 1G, that's my favorite. Six medium lasers. Uh, Marauder is also messed up. For some reason, the Phoenix Hawk... It's because it's, it's because its weapons are all on the arms and the arms get shot off. We keep getting good Phoenix Hawk salvage. Because it has no weapons once the arms fall off, when you just look at it funny. Alright, we got a bunch of... Uh, ooh, Battlemaster Salvage, that might be a better idea. That's 50 tons. And it's like, what, 85 I think. Yeah, we're not going to get enough of those in one go. I mean, we might pay a bunch of money and still get a Battlemaster that's, uh... That's not got an engine, but it's not going to be as bad as this. And we won't be paying maintenance for it in the meantime. That's a lot of medium lasers. That's a decent AC2, but only two points. And that's a lot of ammo. Don't really want to spend salvage points on a tier zero medium laser at this point. We actually kind of need the machine guns. Uh, I think we have enough heat sinks to chill on that. I could salvage another trebuchet. We've got five. Yeah, we only need five to make another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you're kidding. One off. So we've already got five. One, two, three, four, five. Puts us up to 50 tons. So we can roll the dice and make a trebuchet. Seems a good. Now what should I do with the last 12 points of salvage here? Probably sell a panther? Take a couple more points of. No, sorry, one more point of Battlemaster Salvage. Okay. And where's our next mission? 
Invasion defense. Two hops over. Can we repair it? We definitely can't repair the Warhammer in that time. Rip tier 3 machine gun. These were only tier 1 medium lasers. I don't know if we have the large lasers to replace them. At least not at tier 1. I got a couple of tier 2s or a tier 0. I don't particularly want to put our higher tier large lasers in arms that are going to get knocked off. Um, pity about the machine gun. I did just salvage one. I don't love mixing machine gun tiers here. How many mediums do we have? Uh, we have a lot of tier 1s, but no tier 2s. I think it takes like 4 to make a tier 2. So we should probably just keep putting in tier 1s for now. At least we didn't lose the uh, LRM. Can we buy anything here? Nope. Engine core 100, that's not going to cut it. Okay. Sell the panther. The rest we can just normal repair, right? Didn't lose any components or anything. Four days... 12 days, 12 days, perfect. Alright, Warhammer's gonna have to take a vacation. Question is... Do I slap something together while we're here? Or do I wait for an industrial hub? I don't see one anywhere within... Within 40 days, that's only if I go back this way. I guess we'll eventually come here, but no, I don't think we want to wait for that. Alright. I guess I'll put on a crappy large laser here. Crappier machine gun. Machine gun's not exactly much of a thing on the Warhammer, it's just like a bit of extra DACA and something gets close. Not like the dragon that's always trying to get in that range. So I think we'll just put on the lower tier one here. And that's gonna have to do it. 170 d That actually makes this deci decision kind of tricky. Because let's say we hop over here 20 days. And then over here from where we are is 41. That's like 60. And then we start the repairs, hopefully with some better equipment. And the repairs would normally take approximately... ...85 days. That's double from here. I think we're... We might actually get our mech back sooner if I wait for it. I just wish we didn't get enemies dropping right on our head when we're trying to leave. Alright, let's go do this mission. We've... oh wait, I didn't queue everything up to be repaired.
and I'll just double check, that is the one we're trying to go to, right? Yes. Bakum. Alright. Should be a pretty good reward for this one. And I think we were already a hero, so we're not going to gain some more negotiation points. That's okay. On the plus side, uh, I guess we could try out our trebuchet. Have a couple of long range mechs next to each other. It's only got the LRM20 though, it's not that much. We would be 35 tons under with this. It's not like I've got a whole lot of choices for greater than 50, or any choices actually. This is, this is as many tons as we can field right now. So we've got a couple of longer range mechs. And a couple of very aggressive shorter range mechs. Who did I put in this one? Was it Freeman? No, Freeman was in the Warhammer. I remember him saying component lost. Definitely want Fleming in the Jaeger. You should go in the Trebuchet. Who's got the missile skills? Shea. Shea does. Shea and or... I think I'd want Winter to be more frontline in general. Energy beams are not so good on Shea. Freeman's pretty good as well. Oh, Fleming. But Fleming's more Dacker than... More Dacker than Man. Twisted and Evil. How about... Dobbs, actually? Five out of seven. Decent defense, evasion, garbage, ballistics, which we're not using. That's perfect, actually. Decreased ballistics, decreased energy and missile by one, decreased heat by one. Could do a whole lot worse than these negative traits. Maybe I should leave them in there. Since they're... It's kind of like Mr. Burns' immune system, clogging everything up so that nothing worse can get in. Well, that's not quite how it works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's decent. As long as we're not using ballistics. Also, I guess heat management is garbage, but whatever. Considering I only really need you to launch LRM-20s, it should be fine. And... probably Leon. We got this! No prisoners, no mercy! Who did I put in the dragon last time? Was it Winter? Yes. Yeah, Winter it is. Seems good. Fantastic. We are still a good few tons short, but I think we'll be okay. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Wait, that's not a raid, that's a sub. Damn. Thank you so much for the sub, Damsel. I'm sure you can forgive me for misreading that. That's a different one, indeed. How you doing, Damsel? How was your stream today? I saw you were... what was it? I think it was, um... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't point that at me, that's rude. Nope, nope, nope. Target destroyed. 
What's this? A vindicator. Let's wait here for a sec for our lands to catch up. So we can all get line of sight at about the same time. What? Oh, or you could just run past me. That works too, I guess. Hello, Jenna. He's unarmed. Oh, I was gonna punch him. Get back here. Is still alive? There we go. It was good, honestly, feeling pretty good about being leveled for the raid already, which is good. Nice, nice. Yeah, I thought it was Destiny. I almost thought it was Oni for some reason, but... Pretty sure I saw you with stream of that before. Stay sharp, Met Warriors. Ally Command reports enemy movement is projected All right, to I think for the most part we want to be at the top of a hill. Although, you don't want to quite be at the peak where these helicopters will start spamming I've got a new contact. bullets at you before you can even see them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's an auto cannon 10. Not what I was expecting from that thing. What do we have? A rather damaged hunchback. At least it's got most of its weapons. And... A Jenna with no armor, but at least it's got all its weapons. Get out of my way, please. I don't have to worry too much about positioning my allies here, because the longer range... Uh, long range ones are slower. So they'll kind of naturally fall into place. That Jenna should not be running straight toward the enemy in the middle at the front. Rip Jenna. Knock off its arms. There we go. Oh, and the rest of it. Let's grab that sense-making hidden object. As soon as I finish this guy off... Okay, you guys can have him. Oh, another quick draw. We need to kill another eight enemies. I wish long? Wait, what? Okay. Where are they? That hunchback is gonna get absolutely annihilated. Also, there seems to be some helicopters or something. Get him. Nice, nice. A long range mechs are actually doing work. And he missed his punch. Very good. Fantastic. I'm gonna focus this guy now. That was a bad punch. Rip goes the arm. Target of opportunity time. Probably shouldn't have gone for him for a second shot there. Doing. Uh, Additional tangos en route to shockingly your bad with the trebuchet. It's already lost an arm. Not the most important arm, but uh, 
I was about to say we're doing pretty well. Maybe I should park our trebuchet here. And Yegamek here. I wish it was only love that game right now. Indeed, indeed. Looking forward to it tomorrow. Maybe I should play more Oni. Actually, I know, I feel like I'd get... Ooh. Holy crap, what? Wait, what? Double Atlas? Uh, what do they have? One LRM-15 on that one. Uh... Okay. I think we need to lure them a bit. And the AI has bulked it up badly already. Okay. This... this could get bad. This could get really bad. Time to stop circling in that predictable pattern. Not that it matters much with an AI, I imagine. Well, we seem to be a good job at w uh, doing a good job of wasting most of their shots, and the artillery mechs aren't taking a beating. I know it's a high reward quest, but I certainly wasn't expecting double Battlemaster followed by double Atlas for the ends of these missions. See what comes next. Performing a new commander. I don't even want to know. Double Atlas, is this a joke? Okay, if everyone gets here before enemy reinforcements arrive, I can at least wait and see exactly what they are. Oh, nope, nope. Another Atlas? No. Absolutely not. Jesus. What was that? At least three Atlases? We could salvage one, but we have no engine core, but that's actually... A th I think the 300s are relatively common. It feels like a cheat, like we shouldn't have the ability to have an atlas at this point. I mean, we won't have it yet, we'll have to... We'll have to do a lot of repairs. I don't even really want it at this point. We can sell it, of course. What do we have here? Tier 3 AC5s. Uh, tier 2 medium, yes please. And then... nothing, basically? Alright, let's take the Atlas Salvage. When we, when we haven't even seen like a 300 ton limit uh, mission yet. And... give me that AC5. 
and I guess a large laser. Apart from the trebuchet, which always gets messed up, uh, and it only lost the arm that... I I'm glad I didn't put uh, missiles on it. I think it only lost the arm that uh, would normally have missiles on it. Just lost one medium laser there. Ultra AC 5 times 2 Tier 4. Not bad. LBX 10 and LB10X auto cannon? Also. That's actually very, very nice. Kinda makes me want to put it on the dragon. Cool. Where are we going? It's so far away to go to a industrial hub. And they're in Capellan space, and the Capellans don't like us. I could go back up here, I guess. Even that is 48 days. It's actually closer. Hmm. We're almost paying a million in maintenance and stuff already. The thing is, it's really not my favorite mech to be honest. It is horrifically slow. And we have to go far out of our way to to get it working. I think we'll just sell it. Three mil, nice. We could maybe patch up the trebuchet here, that would be pretty cheap, honestly. 28 days. And these guys are all cheap as chips. Alright, should we should we go on a quest to fix our Warhammer or should we look for more work? Uh, the industrial hubs are so far away. This is only... This is 27 days. That's 28 days. So we could fix everything up. Except the Warhammer, of course. Can we buy anything while we're here? I think I already checked. 245. Well, we're not late game enough to pay 1.8 mil for an engine that we might need. I could... Wait, what? No, we've still got the engine core for this one. What were we looking for? A... Oh, it's not that we were looking for things. It's that it costs so much to repair this that I want to wait for the industrial hub. But maybe it's... It's not just the cost, it's time. I was going to say, maybe it's more important to have a Warhammer ready to go sooner. Mm, repair time plus 100%. Large laser... 170 days. I think instead we'll hop over here, do some missions, and then go to the nearest. This is rep 7, rep 8. Mm, maybe a job here, a job here, and then industrial hub, perhaps? That seems maybe reasonable. Where's the Warhammer? There it is. Alright. Uh, so Tantara is where we're going. 
mission or two over here. Demolition and War Zone. Tonnage limit 230. Can we handle that? Maybe. Pro probably. Okay, I got an idea. I've got an idea. Here's my idea. We're just gonna plow straight into the target buildings. At 95 kph in a 60 ton mech with tons of armor. And that's gonna be it. We won't be able to avoid damage as well as a locust could, but considering how OP the armor is on these dragons, we'll probably have enough for the second mission. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, the AI isn't gonna... Isn't gonna be enough. Can I take control, please? You're joking. What? Really? Uh, but <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> Winter? Is this a strike? Okay. Uh, Autosave entered system. Where's a frozer? Where's a frozer? I'm pretty sure if I put that other pilot in the first slot, it should be okay. We want the Dragon Smork Edition that goes faster. And we want Winter, who has two whole missions in this thing already. It's not going to actually make a difference this mission, uh, but like three more and we stop having these minus 5% stats. Tyrannosaurus hacks as winter. Cool, cool, cool. Desolately empty battleship. I mean, dropship. Oh, crap. Let's just get this over with. Uh, that's going to take more smashing than I had in mind. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can do it. I'm basically going to have to, like, break line of sight with stuff that's trying to stop me from smashing by smashing through buildings all the time. Can we go down here? Uh, that's a note, that's a note, that's a note. 
How do we get there? Jump jets would be very useful. More information about the terrain that you're getting into would be very useful. Um, so you can make more intelligent choices. Not that I have something that would be suitable for this that has jump jets. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Oh crap, what's that? Panther? I should probably just kill it. Can knock off that PPC in no time. Don't want to get hit by that. I guess I can outrun it, but like, I don't want it chasing and jumping and sending PPCs at me. I did my best, Lawrence. and ignore them. The turrets can die immediately. Oh, I thought I could smash through that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Alright. Alright. Okay. 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 It's fine. Yakety sucks.mp3. Get on the other side of some of these buildings and then start smashing a bit more. down, and those other mechs don't know where I am. Those other mechs aren't doing a very good job of finding me. Maybe this will be more doable than I thought. Oh crap, there they are. Okay. Okay. Alright, let me out. Almost halfway there. We weren't that close to 50%. We're only hitting 52 now. The area is down to half capacity. Keep going. I know. What's this? Urban neck with an AC 10. Sounds 
sounds like the helicopters are here too. some point. Hurry up and die, holy crap. There we go. This mission would have been finished by now if it was the type of mission I thought it was. This area is on its last legs, Commander. Just one final push, and then we can all go home. Holy crap. Don't scare me like that. Okay, 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 okay. That's too many. Let me out. Let me out. Where's my 90 kph? Need to get to the other side of the town. Oh, hello. I don't know if I can pull this off, but we're so close. Side of the planet. Good, perfect. I think I have no armor on my left back torso. I don't think I can go this way. These helicopters are a problem, I don't have much range. That mech is a problem. That mech is also that mech is also a problem. Okay. 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 I wish the trees would stop slowing me down. Let me out. How are those helicopters so bad at aiming? It'd be interesting to try and play through a game campaign where the AI doesn't have atrocious aim. Alright, I think we got this. I think we got this. Don't know how I'm supposed to get into the dropship with N enemies around, but uh... That's how the game works. Oh. 
Alright. Ooh, we got a tier 3 medium laser, despite my destroying almost nothing, apart from soft targets. Getting PS2 armored core vibes from this game, indeed. Verpad. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, what's the damage? I don't think we're using this mech for the second uh, second mission. But frankly, I'm surprised I was able to pull that off without component damage. Right leg is down to half. Um, I thought our rear torso... Yeah, here it is. Left rear torso has zero armor. Structure is actually still totally fine. Uh... Oh, well, it took like one point of damage. The structure took one point. That could have been a lot worse. Alright. And we got a Marauder. 75 tons. I think that's our heaviest mech now. Uh, we need a another 300. Wait, do we have a 300 lying around? I think those are one of the most common... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We got a Marauder. I'm not sure exactly how we're supposed to have salvaged that. But, um... But, yeah. Two PPCs, two mediums, and AC5. Hmm. Somehow this thing can... Avoid incoming fire 15% of the time. Arm twist angle modifier plus 30%. So it can shoot helicopters right above it, if you can even see them. Torso weapon cooldown modifier negative 10%. Directional torso mount. That doesn't sound like... that. That is the perk you would get for that, but whatever. And its role is a sniper. I guess I could see that, yeah. I never really thought of these as snipers. They definitely look like... like a lighter version of an assault mech. But... Double peeper and an auto cannon 5. Certainly. We can wait until we get to an industrial hub. Uh... Actually, how much would it cost to repair this? Ignoring that we're two tons under for some reason. I don't know what's missing that we're two tons under. Uh, but that would be 68 days. And we'd pay an extra half million. Since we're already kind of, sort of, on the way to an industrial hub, uh, we're waiting to get there to repair the Warhammer. I think I'd rather wait. We also salvaged that Panther. Alright, second mission. What are we taking? Obviously the dragon. Uh... I think I want to take the Jaeger mech. Is the trebuchet ready as well? It is. And maybe a centurion. This was a dumb idea. Short range centurion. Or short range only. And again, 64 isn't that bad for speed. What do we have? 225 out of 230 tons. That's actually kind of perfect. Alright, let's get our DACA enthusiast Done. in Dad, the Jaeger mech. Look at me now. Let's go hunting. And... Uh, 
we've got a couple of people who have piloted the trebuchet. Who do I want to put in the centurion? Probably Freeman? Yeah, probably Anyone Freeman. To see if there's a transit strap stuck to my foot? Which means we're probably putting Dobbs in the Centurion. Unless... I kind of want to keep Winter in the Assault mix. Looking good. Alright, seems good. Oh, it's dark. So is this defense or I think it's a war zone. Help each other hold back the tide of the enemy advance as long as possible. And then get the hell out of there. That time. We will be on standby waiting for your extraction. Good hunting. Good hunting. Indeed. I forgot to check what kind of punchback that was. Either way, I'll want to close the distance, avoid its line of fire, and hit the hit the big weapon. Auto cannon twenty burst fire. That's actually kind of spooky. Already got it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Tanky tanks, GTFO. Fantastic. Looks like we're going to be at the top of a hill. That might be handy. What did I just smash? I don't even know. We've got a... ooh! An urban mech with armor and two autocannon twos. That's... well... in different terrain that would have been better. But... that's actually some fire support that we can keep alive. What's this one? Javelin with medium lasers and no armor, that's gonna die so quickly. Let's get these... Helicopters out of here. Fantastic. I think I want our artillery up here. What's this? Ooh. That's kind of spooky. I think I'll hit this javelin while they deal with that. Yeah, I probably should have. Probably should have altered my path there, and not taken some SRMs to the face needlessly. Let's see if I can hit this thing from behind. Ooh, convenient ramp. Wish I had jump jets right now. I guess I better hit this blackjack first. Why can't I punch? What the hell?
Cool, cool, cool. Are there flashlights? Uh, yeah, there's a mod that adds them, actually. I always forget. That's a bit better. That mech is not looking good. Okay, how's our artillery? Unharmed? And out of position for some reason. Yeah, you go get over here. On my way, sir. There we go. That hill is certainly not helping the AI figure out how to come up here. Target acquired. In an effective way. Rifleman, I need to close distance. Knock off one of those arms sooner rather than later. What are you shooting at? What is he shooting at? Jack's gonna last very long. Somehow the trebuchet still hasn't been targeted at all. I'm okay with this. As long as they don't keep focus firing the Jagermack to the point where it actually takes serious damage. Alright, just three more. Ooh, there's a ramp up there. I should have put the Jaeger up this way. Too late. Maybe I should wait here. Shorter. Shorter. Faster. Those words. One more tank and we're done, I think. It's a big tank, though. Fantastic. Where's the extraction point? Not down the hill. That makes it very tempting to stay for more money. What do we have on sensors? What do we have on sensors? Also, what's with this straight line of lighting difference? Enemy compromised. What? No. What? New target, locust. locust and a spider. Well, we can definitely swap those. Get our snipers up here. Copy. Relocating. And death from above with no jump jets.
Just do that ten more times and we'll have the 500,000 bonus. I think you have to do it three times in one career for an achievement. See what pops up, and if it's spooky, we're running away. Holding a designated position. Looks like you've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Would be good if we knew what they were. Okay. Probably close distance before they to location. come out here. Following the commander. Enemy mech. Travel at the rise of House the Owl. No, I don't think I will. Let's get the crab first, that's relatively easy to knock over. Missed my touch. Uh oh. I, it seems like the AI just doesn't know how to pilot a crab, I don't know why, but it's always like looking away from me. And what do we have up here? Oh, I didn't know this... I didn't know this staircase was here, that's uh... That's not good for our snipers. from the evac. I should probably disable this guy and start running towards it just in case. halfway to getting that target bonus. Not bad. How's everyone's armor? Really good except for one of the arms on the trebuchet. It's always the arm that... Uh, wait, no. In this case it's actually the one that wouldn't have the missiles on it. For a change. Fair enough. Aye, aye. Scopes are lighting up with additional bogus, Commander. What have we got? Oh, if they're at the evac. For some reason. Aye, aye. I'm on guard. Good thing it's not too scary. Pretty sure the dropship doesn't drop in until until we actually step into the evac in these missions. Holy crap! His center torso was already wrecked by the time I saw him. Nope. There 
yet go. That's some... That's some rather good sniping. What are we at? 300k? Commander. The, uh... The pilot of the urban mech is like maxed out elite. Maybe that's the one who dropped the dropped the center torso of that javelin to almost nothing by the time I saw it. What do we got? Victor and Griffin. Not too bad. No, not the Irby. How could you? And your friend seems to be running away. Uh, 10 out of 10 AI. should push, push us over the edge, I hope. We've also got a tank to kill. Let's make sure we minimize the damage it does. Our Irby lost both its AC2s. No! Did we get it? Yes, we did. All right. Some kicks as well, maybe? Yeah, you can't kick in this game, uh, unfortunately. It is a thing in Battletech. I'm pretty sure you have to, like, the tabletop, you have to, like, make a dice roll to check if your mech falls over or something. Uh, if you're going to try kicking. But it's not a thing in the video game. The armor of my lance mates is actually still really good. Enemy reinforcements spotted in the area. I think we can get our 500k here. Grasshopper, that's kind of heavy. Not that many weapons though. Target acquired. Uh, another javelin. Uh, I think I better focus the grasshopper. I don't know what else is out in that direction though. I'm a bit worried. Try and get its attention. Well, that worked. I think it regrets its choices. What other mechs are over there? I'm a bit worried. There's a Jenna. Probably should have told the Centurion to attack something up here. Okay, they're all light. I'm not that worried now. we can pull this off. We need like 1400 C bills to hit 500k. leave. Or oh, they dropped three atlases on us.
think that's the most uh, bonus pay I've had from one of these missions. I'm kind of curious. Uh oh, I'm not curious. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like more of some of the heavy mechs we already... Heavy-er mechs we already faced. Not that bad, though. Cool. An extra half mil for nothing but armor damage, I'm pretty sure. And... We have our pick of salvage. Thunderbolt? Uh, does it have an engine? I don't think it does, no. Griffin... I don't know what it is specifically about the crab. It just always seems to show me its back and then, like, torso twist in a way that's completely useless. I don't know why it would be specifically the crab. Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I... Ooh. Double medium laser, double small locust. We're probably already past the point where I'm going to have any more fun with locusts this campaign, unfortunately. I do wish there was some more... Ooh, that's a lot of medium lasers. We need, we need them. We're going to upgrade them. And we're very short on machine guns. Uh, how heavy is a Banshee? 95. Uh, okay. I didn't realize we killed some 95 ton mechs. How many pieces of salvage do we have, and why is it less than 19? That's 10, 11, 12, 13. What does it even have? I'm not f familiar with the Banshee. GG, indeed. Don't think we're salvaging any new mechs today or anything. Oh, the uh what is it called? The Victor We did get the Victor without blowing up the engine. I could spend all of the rest of my share points on it. I'm not that fussed by a Victor though, to be honest. But I think I've chosen everything else that I really want. How heavy is the grasshopper? 70. Doesn't look like or sound like a 70 ton mech. Alright, this'll do. Came pretty close to losing a medium laser and maybe an arm, but that's about it. Nothing but armor damage. Fantastic. Do I want to strip this? I was thinking we head over like here and then over to the industrial hub. So this is a 27 day hop. Uh, what would it cost to salvage the engine? Not that much. We wouldn't even have to pay the maintenance for the mech. I could take some jump jets. What's it cost? 1,000? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can grab those. 
I think the ammo is literally free to remove. That seems fine. 28 days. Yeah, whatever. Give it to me. And we probably want to repair our scratches on this guy as well. Pretty much, once again, it's everything... Well, it's everything except for the Marauder and... and Warhammer. Cool, cool, cool. So I want to see what this high reward quest is. Maybe we'll do the multiple mission operation. I'm guessing it's going to be too scary though, honestly. Uh, I could also do a demo contract while I'm here, but I don't know if that sounds like a good idea. Um, I mean, how many mechs... Yeah, we're getting a bit light on the available mechs. For where we're at. I think we'll try New Western now. Fantastic. The transmissions. The Cerberus Hounds. All Capellan residents are stalwart, hardworking, and deeply honored to live under our flag, blah blah blah. One of our military assets is a band of Bavian military defectors. For the past century and a half, the Hounds, as they called themselves, have lived in relative peace. Uh, okay, so your location and disposition has been linked to Davian. All right, we get it. Let's protect. And you're gonna give me a tier three large laser? How thoughtful. And we don't even have to travel to do this one. It's only forty-three. Difficulty, that's not that bad. For the multiple mission operation. Um, I don't really feel the need to make Lao even more hostile, though. Alright, what mix do we have available? Uh, basically all of them. Alright, let's get our two snipers. We already have them. And our two dragons. Here we go. My mech's bright and shiny. Fantastic. I've got twelve missions now in this uh in this dragon. I think it's fifteen before you get start getting some little bonuses to some stuff that doesn't honestly matter that much, but it's nice anyway. Over tonnage by f by five. Mm. It's only four percent less pay. Minus one on the south. Can I renegotiate? I can. Just. We're not going to be getting that much salvage anyway out of this one. Just give me, just give us the money. It's fine. I'm not going to grab some weaker mechs just to avoid that little penalty. I mean, this is way too good of a team comp Looks compared like to our other options. Commander. 
dropping you into a region that's set to be targeted by the first Kittery borderers. They're expected first to conduct Kittery a raid borderers? on Kapalan territory on orders from House Davion. What penalty does? Um, basically... Oh, hello. Ready to gear up and fend off the incoming attack. Oh, she won't ta stop talking. <laughs> okay. Stop talking, all of you! Okay, basically, uh, it's just an arbitrary game thing. That doesn't even make sense, but no one cares because... It's just sort of a game balance kind of thing. Uh, you have a maximum tonnage that you can bring into a mission. I think it was 230 tons of mech for this, and we brought 235. So because we're slightly over, we're getting paid a little bit less. I know, it makes all of the sense. Um, but it's, it's fine as like a game balance kind of mechanic. Alright, I think that Jaeger mech is actually slower than I thought. I think we uh, gave it a lighter engine. So that it would have more DACA, actually. Okay, Jagermech, here please. And... Oh my god. The, rap the rapidity with which signals are lost is a little bit annoying, because I want to send one of my lance mates to attack that. Thought if you were overweight you have a chance to crash? That'd be a bit much. Uh, especially considering you can read, like on the Battletech wiki, the lore for this stuff. The uh, Leopard the dropship that is very common that's used in this game. Uh, I think it's 1900 tons. So for the four biggest mechs that you could drop in, 100 tons each, it's not that big of a deal by comparison. Wolverine, and I think that was a shadow ball. Did you just kill that? No, it was somewhere else. Trebuchet, you're stressing me out how close you're going to the enemy there. This guy's the Dunsky. Would you mind showing me your center torso? There you go. There you go. Mm, I kind of want to go get that panther, but... You know what? My squad mate should be able to handle... What is it? The phoenix hawk. Especially if it's aiming at me. New target panther. Whoops. need to know. Seen that myself. 
How's our snipers doing? They seem to be okay. Shadowhawk coming at them. If they work together, it should be fine. Okay, fall in. We're just gonna go back this way. Let those other two come back to us. Don't love fighting inside the city that I'm trying to defend. Good thing. <laughs> Good of the AI to jump out of it. Go for a headshot. Relatively easy to hit on this one. Uh, I think I got it. Wait, no, it's it got cord. How did it get cord? And why does this guy not eject? What? Are you, are you okay there, buddy? Are you thinking you're gonna death from above? Okay. Normally they eject when they have no weapons left. Have some parts with reduced HP maybe before mission? Oh, that'd be rough. Punchback. Um, punchback worries me a little bit for our snipers, to be honest. Sick my number two dog on that other mech. That mech is so wow. Bad. It did take damage on the left arm, but that was... that was quick. Nicely done. This is Ghost. Target eliminated. I need to find a higher tonnage equivalent of the Jaeger mech later on. So we can put this pilot in one of those. I'm getting that thrust noise bug. The Jaeger mech unmodified is pretty garbage. It's very easy to knock off its arms. And that's where most of its weapons are. Sensors on you. New target, Centurion. Moving to range. Yet, um, target acquired. Oh, we only have to kill one more and we win. Let's go. Everyone right. fall in. I think that means it just shot a really weak turret or something. Maybe I can headshot this one. I think that's going to be rather difficult. Well, I'm hitting its head armor, just not that much. I think I got it. Good work. 
Yeah, I think that was a headshot. Nice. And we have a whole <laughs> two salvage points. <laughs> Where's that centurion? Did we actually headshot it? Or is it just not listed here? Don't tell me that's the one. Did we kill any other centurions? I don't remember any. I guess I didn't get the headshot kill after all. I guess I'll take a medium laser and an LRM-10 for the money. Oh, that we can't even do that. Just give me the jump jets. But the actual reward, apart from that bit of money right there... Oh, we have to do another mission first. God damn it. Where is it? Don't tell me we're going to have to go the wrong way. Um, kind of want to go to the industrial hub first. Wait. Oh, it's down this way? No. I'm I'm going to the hub first. We've been we've been meaning to come here for a while. It's only 3 hops away. Alright, let's sell this a uh, Victor. And away we go. Are we buying anything before we leave? Probably not. Uh definitely more. I want at least four of every type of ammo. Could buy a few machine guns and slap them together to turn them into a better machine gun. Sniper artillery is 20 tons. It's kind of a lot. And... I think we're done here. Let's go... First industrial hub visit for like an, a year. Teams are good. Rare large laser. Tier 3. 645 grand? Hmm. If I had something that I could put the large laser on in a place where I know it's not going to get shot off in one mission, maybe. But right now, not really. All right, what kind of engine cores do we have? 310, 315, 350, 380. I think we already had the engine core here. And this one wants a 300. Of course it does. Oh, there's a freezer riser. All right, do we make it a bit slower? Uh, what am I looking for? Equipment, engine cores. <sighs> Isn't the 310 like... Is the 320 tons? Is what I'm wondering right now. What do we have that has a 300 in it? If anything. That's a three. Tw that's a three hundred. There we go. We didn't have a three hundred to repair. No, wait. Never mind. 
Uh, a 300 is 19 tons plus 3 gyro weight. I think it's actually like 22. And... 310? 24 and a half. Where am I going to shave off... A couple of tons? If we do use the Marauder. Hmm. Alternatively, we could use the 260. It's still got 10 internal heat sinks. Doesn't have any engine heat sink slots, but that's probably okay. Our PPC sniper's just gonna be a little bit slower. It's going to be slightly slower than the Warhammer, right? I think the Warhammer has a 260, and this is 75 versus 70 tons. It's probably okay. Speed 60, so we're going to be... I don't love dropping below 60 speed, if we can avoid it. The trebuchet is actually 74. The Jägermech is only 50. But we're always just parking the Jägermech somewhere. I'm going to be doing the same with the uh, Mad uh, Marauder, though. And we could use the extra tons for a bit more cooling. It only had like 1.4 per second. It can overheat pretty easily. Alright, let's go... The 260, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely not dropping down to a 235 that doesn't have 10 internal heat sinks. And... Yeah, oh, wait, what? Oh. We did have a 300. Uh, I just kind of bought a 1.8 million Seabill engine for no reason. I thought we had no more 300s left. I forgot that we were just... just waiting to do it here so we could save some money. Uh, not to mention the, um... It's actually like 300 grand to swap in a PPC. I think we'll wait until the arms get knocked off to upgrade those. AC5, I know we've got some tier 3s for that, that's probably worth the cost of entry. It's like 180 something grand. Jeebus. Still... Literally better in every way. We don't have so many PPCs that... I, I think we'll wait a bit before we bother to upgrade this. And I'm not that concerned about the medium laser tier. Question is... Now that we actually bought that engine... Do we want to make this sniper slightly slower? How much armor do we have? Eee, armor's a little sketchy. It's not that bad. I normally prefer to maximize armor. Well, what if we put in that engine that we just bought? The 280. Or was it a 260 that we just bought? I think it was the 260. Well, we've got some options. 280. Uh, it's only got... It's still got 10 internal heat sinks. We'd have 4 tons to play with here. 
Our speed goes down to 60. That's not that bad. Um, and then? And we can still slap in a couple of heat sinks. So what's our cooling? 1.6. Theoretical maximum 4.48 per second. We can keep that up for like 10 seconds. That's not that bad, actually. Especially considering most of the time we wouldn't be firing the medium lasers. What about everything else? So minus, like, Almost one heat per second, 3.5, let's call it. It would take a long time to overheat. We certainly can't go continuously, but it would take a long time to overheat. How much ammo is this? 80 rounds for AC5, that doesn't seem too bad. It's not good. We could go 200 if we put in 2 tons. But we've got the PPCs indefinitely. I think we'll stick with that. The, t the higher tier PPCs do produce less heat, though. Where is it? Oh, it's the same heat per second. Huh. It's like 20% more DPS. Hmm... No, the arms are going to get shot off sometimes, probably. Let's start with this. That's our PPC sniper for now. Or in 45 days, anyway. Uh, we needed some medium lasers and... Uh, some large lasers... And some machine guns, if we can. Tier zero. Fine. Let's slap some together. Auto cannon two. Machine gun, here we go. Make three tier ones. Make one tier two. Uh, it's only the... Warhammer that we need to replace one at the moment, right? So I think we should probably just make it as high tier as possible. We've already got two tier twos. Maybe we can make a tier three, actually. Weapon upgrade, machine gun. And... I think it takes a few more. We need four to go from 2 to 3. I think that's the same across all types of weapons. Unfortunate. Need 3, have 20 to make tier 2 medium lasers. Let's definitely do that. And I don't need any tier 0 medium lasers, that's for sure. And now we have 10 tier 2 mediums? I could make a pair of tier 3s. Mm, we'll probably wait on that a little bit more. So that's probably everything we need to actually fix this up. Let's go tier 2 mediums. Not too expensive at this point. And I guess a tier 2 machine gun in here? Is 
that seems not so bad. Alright. When do we get anti-missile stuff? I, I finished the, uh, like, the campaign missions, and I still haven't seen any anti-missile uh, systems. Even though there's, uh, what is it, ferrofibrous and or endo is starting to become more common. Alright. Uh, and the rest of them, we just hit the repair button. Except, I think the smork one had some mismatched machine guns or something. No, it's the other one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do something about it yet. Yeah, here it is. Tier 2 and Tier 0. Well, we can make it a couple of Tier 2s. That should be fine. And repair. Cool, cool, cool. We need six more pieces of Battlemaster to make one. Oh, we can make a trebuchet. Let's try it. 1.15 mil, and we could sell this for 2 mil. Alternatively, we could actually make it a mech. We do need an engine core. Uh, and we don't happen to have a 250 lying around. And we have the non-streak LRMs, which, depending on the size of the target, far more of them will miss. Do I have another 15 streak? I do, actually, quite a lot of them. And a 20 streak. I could go for the same build as the other one. We're actually out of crappy medium lasers. I've got a very crappy one here. I kind of don't want to put the nicer medium lasers on this thing, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get them shot off. Maybe I could go for a lighter engine and put some jump jets on it. We need less than a 250, that just leaves the 180. Puts us down to 58 kph, that's not that bad. For a sniper. And we can have a whole three jump jets, that only gives us 55 meters of height. I'm, I'm not feeling this. I am not feeling this one. Well, we made a tidy little profit from putting that salvage together. Alright, any mechs for sale? Blackjack, another Jaeger mech? Is that the JMS... What do we have? JM... JM6S. Cool. So that means our pilots actually have experience with it. I could definitely see having a spare Jaeger mech. How much is it? 8 mil? 15% markup? Oh, it's... So it is 8 mil. Okay. That's like half our money. And we'd be stuck with it in its unmodified form for the moment. That's probably fine, though. Well, no. We definitely need to put more armor on it. I forgot how bad the default armor is for the Jaeger Max, especially on the arms. Hmm... I think it's probably going to be worth having two of these. Now then. Our 6S. Let me just cancel the work order. 
Only so that I can jump in here and say... Save load out. Um, JM2? I don't know. Because it's all about the AC2s. Save a little bit of tonnage from the 5s. One ammo pool. A bit more tonnage for heat sinks and stuff. We also put a weaker engine in it, though. Can I buy a 200 right now? Oh, right. I should re-queue this one up. Can I buy a 200? I cannot. That is a shame. So, if I were to try and do that here... We're going to end up over tonnage by... Wait, what? Oh, there's no core installed. What was the default? Wait, what? Why did you uninstall the engine if you couldn't replace it? 260. Okay. Load, loadout. Why is it so wide? 260 engine was what we had. Uh, and apparently we're eight tons over? What? Eight tons? 260 versus... 200. The most comparable here is the 180. It's like... It's like seven and a half tons of difference. I don't know where... Oh. Well, that's one ton. Where the heck are all those tons coming from? I didn't have, like, ferrofibrous armor on it or uh, structure... Endostructure or ferrofibrous armor or something on it, did I? Let me have a look again. I really wish we could, like, browse it, even though it's already queued up to be repaired. Okay. Two tons of AC2 ammo. Four AC2s. Medium lasers. One, two, three, four, five heat sinks. Cooling heat per second, 1.3. And improved sensors, that doesn't cost anything except for money. Um, there's no structure or armor special stuff. And we've got literally the maximum armor minus like two points in the head. Engine core here is only 8.5 tons. But, I mean, this one's 7. It should be even lighter. Required external heat sinks too. That's fine. Okay. I'll try and remember all that. So we, we should have, like, one extra ton. Wait, now we're, like, two and a half tons under? What? One, two, three, four, five heat sinks. What just happened? Why are we not... Uh... I guess that's fine? Weren't we over tonnage somehow with this a minute ago? Or did I put in like a... I didn't put in a 260. Maybe I did put in a 260. That might be the problem. Okay. 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 We've actually got two more... 
Oh, did it not put in the more medium lasers because we don't have any more tier twos? No, it did. Wait, what? So now we've got half a ton. What the heck are we doing with half a ton? Why does this thing only have two medium lasers? Probably because it has a slightly bigger engine? That doesn't account for two tons, does it? I'm so confused. Alright, well, let's just make the most of this one. Um, load out, same thing, put in slightly lighter engine. We've got two and a half tons left over for some reason. We've got half a ton left over. And... What should we do with half a ton? I could do half a ton of AC2 ammo. It's only another hundred. Five hundred up to six hundred. What else could I possibly use it for? I could take off half a ton from, like, the legs. Just to put in another heat sink, I guess. I don't think that's really... Really worth... Alright, half ton of AC2 ammo. And we've got the four medium lasers. Four AC2s. And a speed of 44.86. That's slower than an Atlas. So we'd better be parking this thing somewhere where we want it to snipe. And not trying to have it follow us. Seems okay. And then, I think... We are done here. Let's just double check. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to buy some spare engines. We, we're always like... We're always short of one. And there's often not one of the exact type you're looking for. But they're so expensive. Uh, I did put the improved sensors in, right? Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure it was part of... Yeah, it would have been part of the saved. Ultra Auto Cannon 5 ammo. Door. And... Get these up to four. Whoops, whoops. And then... Long range missiles. No streak SRMs? Feels bad, man. Do the stream... I've never actually tried them. Or I think I have, but I wasn't paying attention. Do the stream SRM6s have less of a spread? At the cost of not coming out all at once? I should hope so. Having to, like, continuously lead the target instead of picking a moment to fire the missile shotgun uh, definitely makes it more of a more of a problem to make as many of them hit as possible. I guess I'll take the medium and the larges just in case. Don't really want to pay for a tier 3 large at this point though. Alright, where are we going? We've still got this mission way down here. We we'll probably have everything repaired by the time we get there, except for... Probably our new Jägermeck, and the Warhammer is still 93 days. Ouchie. The Marauder will be ready, though. All right, I uh, kind of wish I hadn't taken on that uh, high reward mission just because it's sending us way down here, but away we go.
game having a bit of an aneurysm there. Alright. What is this place called? Rand Base. Alright. Quest. What else we got? Davion versus Liao. Defense. Tonnage limit 270. I don't know if I can field something like that yet. Assassination... 230... Uh, we're probably not good for a triple mission. Although, it would be fun if we could pull it off. Well, let's do the one we came here for first. And what have we got available? Well, it's five tons over again. Um, do we want to consider dropping a little bit? I guess it'd have to be the Jaeger mech. Could take like a Blackjack or a Centurion instead. The Marauder's actually not ready for four days. It'd put us 15 tons over, so that's an easy choice for now. I think we'll take one of the standard Centurions that has range. Anyone able to see if there's a transit strap stuck to my foot? 220 out of 230 seems fine to me. Alright, so this will be our, like, secondary sniper slash bodyguard of the trebuchet, I guess. Like we're going this way. Oh, there's 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 a cliff in the way. Uh oh. Where where was that? At the top of my HUD. The Capellans have provided us maps of these badlands, outlining where you should start. Good luck. It would have been good if I could have studied the map before the mission started. Oh no, don't tell me. Please don't tell me they're going to have trouble getting here. No, it looks like we're fine. Indeed. Gonna have to be prepared to smash a few things in here to protect the rest of it. Whoops. Rip radar dish. <laughs> Physics go burn. Get out of the city. Reach checkpoint out. Oh, bloody hell, this thing again. I gotta get very intimate with checkpoint alpha before it triggers the next phase. I think we'll put our Jaeger mech and Centurion up here. Not all the way up. We don't want them exposed to the other side, except when they want to be, kind of thing. Um, so about, like, here. Affirmative. I'm on it. 
And I'm gonna have to crush a bunch of the stuff I'm supposedly here to defend. Just to trigger this little waypoint. Stay sharp, mech warriors. Ally command reports enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time to earn our pay. Is this war zone? I think it's war zone actually. Technically we don't have to defend the city. Yeah, you should. What do we got for a friendly mech? AC-10 on the urban mech. Definitely prefer... I definitely prefer the pair of AC-2s. So that they can snipe things. Alright, PPC's gone. Let's focus the Centurion. Get rid of that. Um, with the auto cannon, fantastic. Don't you shield yourself with that arm? Oh, hello. Which one should I shoot? Perfection. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Fantastic. What have we got? Machine position. gun level one. Well, it's Cargo not required. nothing. That is about all I can say for it. New target rifleman. Not loving the lack of range on these, uh, dragons. But I did make them specifically for the role of getting in close. Protect the Urbi! Oh yeah, 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 blow up next to your friend. Not going critical. Punch the arm. God damn it. I always seem to miss the second swing. There we go. There you go. How's our sniper pair doing? Uh, that's fine, and that's very fine. Cool. So far, so good. We can probably get bonus pay for this one. Steer frosty. Did they already blow up that tank? I hear helicopters. I don't have long range weapons, I don't like hearing helicopters. Help me! I, I got confused about which button was the weapon for the, what's on the arms. Stop shooting my centurion! There we go. Okay, that's kind of gross. I think it was actually missing our mechs to blow up that bit of building. Oh, there's a couple of mechs back here. What have we got? Griffin? Kintaro? What is Kintaro? Uh, three SRM6s, LRM5, two mediums. Okay, I want to be careful short range. Oops. Made this decision a bit late. I need to be focusing more on dodging the short range missiles.
What? What? What the? What? Um. Okay. I guess. I guess I hit him so hard I banished him. Oh, and that's it. We can we can leave now, theoretically. We're gonna have to fight these guys, so we may as well go straight at them. Disintegrated? Yeah. the rifleman one arm at a time if we can alright focus on something else now actually this guy's almost done him off actually. Oh, uh, the terrain. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I've actually lost all my armor on my right arm. Get out of here. Lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. No more targets. Centurion's okay. Other dragon is okay. Trebuchet is okay. I'm probably the most damaged, or at least I have one component that's most damaged. Most uh, one body section. Still got to cross a kilometer. All right, let's go this way. No incoming missile. I thought it was SRMs. I should have run straight forward. Additional contacts just cross the perimeter, Commander. Stop. Expect company soon. No more additional contacts. I kind of wish they weren't triggered by kills, to be honest. Alright. I have an opportunity here to make a decision. It sounds like we could at least kill a couple more helicopters. Just for a bit of easy money. Single hunchback is not that scary. It might take off one of my arms, and that would mean the medium lasers. Uh, it looks like the bad pathing from my allies is forcing us to engage anyway. That's really bad. Good thing it was the dragon. It's the one with six mediums in the in the torso segment. Well, oh. let's get out of here before I lose an arm. But we are evacuating. Okay, good. I 
Fantastic. We got that machine gun I found, and we can actually spend 12 whole salvage points. Was the 240 engine the one I was looking for? Pity I can't steal this one. We got some tier 2 AC2s. We could easily lose a couple of those if the Jagermax have a bad time. Probably skip the tier 1s for the same share cost. Depends on what else is available. Couple of machine guns. We're, we're kind of still trying to catch up on machine guns since we lost a few. And should we take Kentaro salvage? We're not going to be able to make a Kentaro, but we could take enough so that we could make one next time. It should be fine. All right. And we get five tier three small lasers and a tier three lunch. Beautiful. Do we have any, uh, do we have enough mechs to throw together for a mission? A hundred. 165. Oh, we've got two Jaegers ready now. So that's uh, 130 by themselves. We could use one of these dragons that didn't take much damage. Uh, and the trebuchet took basically no damage. So that's like, what, 110 and this is 130? So 240. Tonnage limit 230. So we could probably work something out. I'm definitely not doing the multiple mission operation. Uh, we almost made House Liao not as mad at us. Feels like a shame to throw that away at this point. Also, doesn't this guy just look super trustworthy? Okay. Uh, ooh, there's a hub. I don't see any hero mix for sale, but we could maybe pay seven days more to check out this one. Or we could check out this place and two rare weapons for the same time. It would also let us see what's over here. Recommended rep 8, that's us. Let's keep going clockwise. So I think we'll wait until we're at... Uh, what is it called? Sheba. We'll wait till we're at the industrial hub till we repair. Fantastic. Ooh. Holy crap. I was not expecting a stalker for sale. We can't afford it. It's actually sort of one of my favorites, and it's the variant with, uh, I think it's f all of the medium lasers are on the arms. I kind of want the variant where we can put large lasers on the side torsos. I could scrounge together a few mil um, to buy this thing. Ironic. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the catapult, but 
it seems like we're just going to skip over the catapult and go straight to Stalker, potentially. The tougher catapult that can't jump and is ridiculously slow, but the slowness doesn't really matter. Hmm. What would I sell? I don't really... I don't know if I have any mechs I want to sell just yet. Nor are they worth that much. Uh, the blackjacks? I could scrounge together four mil if I drop the blackjacks. Hmm. Centurions? They're still kind of good. Uh, what about, like, weapons that we've got too many of or something? We've got 12 LRM-10s at tier 0. I could sell for, uh, like, 1.3, 1.4 million. Auto Cannon 5s are kind of similar. That's like 1.4 mil there. I need more than like the bare minimum to buy the stalker. We need to repair. We need to jump to the next system and so on. When does our... Ten, ten more days. Okay, one more hop and we've got our... We finally, finally got our Warhammer back. I feel like we're going to outgrow the Warhammer by the time we get this thing back. Alright, we didn't take any real damage last time. Um, 8.7 mil. So we need to scrounge up over 3 mil. And that's not counting maintenance costs and stuff, which is getting a little bit out of hand. I mean, we can always... I don't know why, but uh, we can always just shove things into cold storage instantaneously at no cost it says that it strips the max but it doesn't i think the i don't know i want to say the maintenance costs are a bit much sometimes um definitely give me those but yeah On second thought, when our tonnage limits are as low as they are, is having a missile platform that's really, really slow, that's 85 tons, that helpful? I think it kind of isn't. I think it's a little too much tonnage for what we're getting out of it with our tonnage limits as low as they are for the moment. And we'd be paying a bunch of extra maintenance to keep it. We'll see, we'll see plenty of stalkers when we're at that point in the game. Alright. Uh, Gauss Rifle, though, that's, that's a get. Two million, it's 15 tons, though. We don't really have anything that can support a 15 ton weapon. It's only three more than the AC-10, that's more than it sounds like, though. I don't have anything with an AC-20 yet. In a bad Russian accent, get out of here, Stalker. No, Stalker, I'm sorry. Should I get the Gauss? I've only seen, like... Okay, I literally just finished the campaign in my other game, and I've seen maybe, like, five Gauss rifles. So I think I probably should get the Gauss rifle. 
even if we don't have something to slap it onto just yet. They're pretty rare. That's a tier 4 small laser. That's, uh, that's pretty good too. Ah, why couldn't you have been a rare catapult? That would have been perfect right now. That would have been the dream. Should we go over here? 20 days. Yeah, literally everything will be ready in 20 days. Difficulty 40s. High reward quests. Um, no pilot left behind. I think I remember this one. Let's give it a go. Len Denning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. I wonder what news we've uh, triggered so far. Oh, there's three pages. Any new mechs showing up or anything? Lost technology cache to be sold at auction to arms traders. That was 3017. What's our date? Three years later, I'm reading the news. Okay. Uh, not seeing it. Commando variant. All right, nothing too exciting yet. Bounds pirate kingdoms on butt hold? Butt hold, really. View transmissions, no pilot left behind. My son was downed in a battle a month ago and captured by a band of pirates. Fair enough. Please help an old warrior save his son's life. And we don't have to travel, or at least not for the first part of it, if there's multiple parts. What is the Magistry of Canopus? A cache of rare minerals has been located. We're sending in recovery forces. We need you to raid their bay. Okay. Killing our pilots instead of allowing them to surrender. That's kind of cringe, bro. Alright, let's maybe do this one next. Difficulty 60. Tonnage limit 270. Can we field 270-ish? But hold, you say? Indeed. Doing as well as I can, I've been looking at this game. My friends were kind of iffy on their review, said it was fun co-op, but the single player had some issues, mostly around the AI. Yes. Uh, and apparently the update... Uh, I forget what I heard, it broke some mods or something. The, uh, the mod I'm using, TT Rules AI, isn't too bad. Uh, I was very impressed with, I think I said it to Striker, if not, no, it was probably Scout. I said it to Scout for some of my light mechs at the start of the game, and they actually didn't just run into optimal range according to their weapon stats and get immediately killed. Um, so that was an improvement. But I, I don't know if the updates to the main game have, like, forked this mod somewhat or something. I was looking at the TT Rules mod just a few minutes ago. Looks quite impressive. Yeah, uh, it's not, like, that amazing, but 
very, very impressed by locusts actually coming back with like no damage on them. Um, it's it's certainly an improvement over the vanilla AI, or at least the vanilla AI I played until like a couple of weeks ago or something. Um, I only bought the base game. I got it on sale for like twenty dollars. Uh, really, really good value. Um, but maybe I'll wait for a sale for the um, for the DLCs because I would literally have to pay like over a hundred to get the rest of it. Um, but yeah, just the base game. I've I've had a lot of fun with it already. Well, the base game with mods. Um. Uh, so would, oh yeah, I was trying to figure out, what was the limit? 270? 270 tons. Okay. If we take 120 with the dragons and 130 with two Jagermax, I could also take another 10 tons with the Marauder, but... It's also kind of just a sniper, um, and in its current state, probably not as good of a sniper as the Jagermax, honestly. Oh, we could take a Warhammer. That's going to give us a bit more mid to long range punch. Alright, which dragon should we take? I'm thinking the one I had before. This one's... the bonus in speed it has is more of its advantage. It's not that much more speed, actually. I actually like having the primary wingman slightly faster than me, so they stay in position. Anyway, I think we take Dragon, Warhammer, and two Jagermax for this one. We should be able to pull it off. Probably. If I got this, I would just be on a hunt for my favorite awkward chubby baby, the Fafnir. I thought you were going to say, like, the urban mech. It's very, very easy to acquire. All right, let's put away the Smork Dragon. Uh, bring out the Warhammer. Freeman's our best Warhammer pilot, I believe. Well, the only one who's getting close to not having penalties for driving the Warhammer anyway. Urban makes are nice as well. I saw someone playing a very modded game that was like deep into the clan invasion, and they had like, you know, 1700,000 hero mechs in their collection. Uh, and they put together an overpowered urban mech with all kinds of lost tech and clan tech and stuff um, that ran I think over a hundred kilometers per hour and had plenty of jump jets and I think it was like four heavy lasers heavy heavy medium lasers which is not actually a weapon I was familiar with at all but apparently that's actually a thing let's throw in the two Jaeger mechs which one's the slower one this one. And where's our Jaegermech enthusiast? Captain Winter. Good thinking, I'm on it. And Captain Don't Fleming. Being paid to be this awesome. I'm gonna put her in an awesome because that is comedic genius. Uh yeah, I think we can probably handle this actually. 360 rotation, indeed. Yeah, it, that that alone kind of makes me want to make an urban mech work, but it's just not possible. Is the suspected complex where Shenzhen's son and several other POWs are being held. We'll cripple them by destroying key strategic targets. Once they're down, we'll be able to provide a scan to determine if Shenzhen is here, and if he is, extract him. 
I do wish we had some more mission variety and reasons to bring lighter mechs. Um, like missions where speed was more important, perhaps. Or maybe like missions that supposedly happen simultaneously. Uh, I don't know. Then you'd end up just having a bigger collection of assault mechs, probably, in the late game. Why are you not looking at me? Uh, the AI. All of my lance mates are slower than me. Um, it kind of makes them fall into place organically, actually. The snipers are a bit slower than the warhammer. Bro. Yes, indeed. Can I stomp this thing? Nope. I thought I killed these things by stepping on them sometimes. Here, VTOLs, but I don't see VTOLs. Alright. But yeah, they are cheap little things designed to be thrown in mass. Yeah, and since you're doing a. You know, since you control a mech company that can only field four, any four mechs. Um. It pretty much all becomes Steiner Scout Lance by the end of the game. I mean, I actually find some of the 85 ton mechs are sort of just better mostly. Battlemasters are amazing. If you were to do one of those little diagrams that's like different points coming out from a center point to show different skills or advantages or whatever. I think the most area under the graph, uh, not under the graph, the most area would probably be from some mechs around the 85 ton range. Because the lack of speed on atlases is quite bad. I don't want to step through that. Thought I could disable his weapons faster. It still worked out pretty well. You can eventually destroy these artillery. They take a lot of punishment, though. somewhere. Tango smoked. Yep. Target, target engaged. I think they're going to kill it before I can contribute much this time. Kill that? Let's get that thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we have more. We have more stuff to kill. 
In Macquarie 4, I always liked turning Daishis into Gauss Rifle Boats, indeed. Uh, spoiler alert, but at the end of this game's... Well, right near the end of this game's... Uh, campaign missions. You get a mech that is canonically amazing, and I'm not impressed. I was like, okay, I already made a double Gauss rifle platform out of the King Crab. The only thing, the only way this is better is it looks like, I haven't actually tried it yet, uh, it looks like the Gauss rifles from the arms line up well with the cockpit, so you can peek over a Kind of like with the catapult, you can peek over a hill and not shoot the hill by accident. Let's get out of here. I don't want to fight that. Whatever it is. Um, I mean, we could kill that, but we're not getting much salvage. Since it's House Yao. It's a high reward quest. Doesn't mean high pay directly or high salvage. No negotiation points. Okay. What do we got? Uh, well, we could claim the Panther with no engine if we wanted to. Don't really want a rifleman or a Zeus anyway. Oh, Zeus is 80 tons. Two mediums, large, AC5, LRM15. That's not that bad. It's kind of like a bigger Centurion. Kind of. I feel like this is not enough weapons for an 80 ton mech, though. <laughs> what should I take? Um, tier 2 AC5. I guess I could take the tier 1 auto cannon 2. Am I even going to use small lasers anymore? If I had, like, unlimited uh, hard points, I could put a bunch of small lasers on the dragons. Close range and tear things up. But we do have limited hard points in this game. It sort of makes the mech design a bit more interesting, and it sort of robs us of the ability to do what we really want. What should I take? AC2. There we go. Alright, so where's the... Where's the rest of this mission? Two hops away. I think I might like to go to the industrial hub first since it's so close. Uh, depends how much damage we took. Six days, four days, eight days, fourteen. That's, uh, that's not really a problem. I'll just wait one extra day before starting this mission. Why not? Do we want to buy anything before we leave? Um, probably not. I feel like the thumper artillery needs, but like not just the thumper artillery, but like all these things from yet another. It needs some mechs that we just don't see in this game, or at least not the 
part of the game that I've played to make the most of them. Alright, we'll do this mission and I think that'll be it for today. Zone. I like war zones. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility. Oh. I thought we were going to have to wait one more day for the Warhammer. I must have misread it something. Alright, yeah. Same, same lance. Seems like a good idea. Especially for war zone, actually. Having these two Jaeger mechs with the four autocannon twos. Seems pretty good to me. Nice and punchy, indeed. The, like, the smaller weapons, like autocannon twos and small lasers, uh, for, I haven't checked, but from what I remember, thinking of, like, the tabletop, these small weapons have a lot more DPS than they normally would. Because I think the fire rate of everything on the tabletop is just once per turn, right? That's an enemy dropship. I'm reminded of playing MechWarrior Online long ago, stripping down a dragon and sticking three AC5s on it. Indeed. I wanted to play MechWarrior Online, but like... I, I mean, I fired it up not that long ago. Um, it feels off. The, uh, the engine, the way everything looks and feels is a bit... I don't know. Not quite right. And just trudging around the, like, the training area, I found it surprisingly difficult to aim at things. Like, what I'm doing in MechWarrior 5 would... From what, uh, uh, maybe there's, like, some settings that I need to tweak or something, but... From what I saw, the way I play MechWarrior 5 would be, like, elite in MechWarrior Online. It's just much more difficult to control. Especially targeting. But I kind of want to play it, uh, because I've seen all kinds of good things about it. Not the least of which was people actually working together. That honestly felt bizarre at this point. This is the part where I'm glad my sniper mechs have good direct fire as opposed to just being missile boats. This could be bad. Oh 
Okay, what's the damage? Uh, Jagermech number one is looking very good. They're all looking very good. Pretty good. It looks like the Jagermech lost its armor on the back right torso. But we haven't lost any components. Recon has spotted additional bogies heading along a trajectory that intersects with your position. New target, Griffin. Griffin, Phoenix, Horror. Target acquired. Get there. On the move. No, kill this. Copy. Your there you target. go. There you go. Boom! Dead! Target acquired. We should probably let them come over the lift. New target, Phoenix, Horror. Here we go. Target acquired. Engaging your target, Commander. His arms. All right, we're good. They're heading your way. Four to go. Target, Commander. Commando Jenna. So far, so good. Target acquired. Wolverine. Copy. Relocating. Shooting from here. Target acquired. And yeah, I think we can finish this one without too much trouble. Protect the Jägermeck. I think that wasn't our mech. I think they were talking about the ally mech. Can't reach him. Jenna's gonna break anything. All the metal, indeed. Silent Storm. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's our evac? It's probably back that way, right? the house. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry I destroyed your home. And we are out of here. Yeah, no. All right, Commander. We got them. We've extracted Shenzheng's son and several other prisoners from the complex. The plan worked. Fantastic. Templar, thank you for the follow. Welcome in.
Alright, I guess it's time to look for someone to raid. Anyone playing MechWarrior 5? And we are veterans, apparently. Engine Core 270. That's not one I was looking for before, was it? Well, I want it more than I want a Griffin or a... another Centurion that doesn't have a core. Let's take that, and I'll definitely take Tier 3 Auto Cannon 2s. Fantastic, that brings us up to 3. And that's actually it, unless I see something I want more. Which I don't think I will. Level ups all around. Yeah, that Jaeger was a bit, uh, starting to look a bit sketch, actually. And we get a pilot. Not a bad pilot, either. For a ridiculously low salary. All the weapon skills max at 8, all the piloting at 6. Eh, we'll see. In order to pay off his life debt... He would like to humbly offer you, offer you his service as, as a pilot. That's how that works. And it's time to speak to Rihanna. Wait, uh, are we going to see some traits from this guy? Ready to see what's out there, Commander. Nothing yet. Join your company. Oh, apparently you can't have a negative trait. That's something. Uh, and yeah, he is a bargain, salary-wise. But, I mean, the scale of pilot salaries doesn't even... isn't really even felt very much. Compared to everything else. I've just received a distress call from a civilian settlement that's under attack by suspected Inferno forces. They have offered an open contract to anyone willing to intervene on their behalf. This certainly fits Inferno's M.O. We know they've been driving people from their land. What we didn't know was why. Now we do. After speaking with Spears and combining our research, we made a significant discovery. Inferno tired. activity and refugee displacement patterns Jesus. correspond almost exactly with the recent discovery of several long-lost Star League Defense Force bases and supply depots, we believe that Black Inferno have been driving off the civilian populations nearby, then laying claim to these sites, excavating them, and pillaging whatever tech they find. Lost tech. Excellent question. These particular sites have been lost to humanity for centuries. The sites are usually in remote locations, well hidden and... More often than not, completely overgrown or buried. Sometimes both. Oh, I was I muted. We knew who was protecting Inferno. Yes. Uh, salvage points, uh, you spend negotiation points on salvage points, basically. So depending on how much a faction likes or hates you that you're working for, you can get more or less uh, salvage points. And it also depends on your reputation level, I believe. Uh, but yeah, time to give someone a raid. Let's say, let's say hello to Aza, I guess. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included. And then three days of Factorio. Take care, Verpad. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else. Alright, see you next time, guys.